I am Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority yeah. yes, sir. on all things R&B. All... He's here today. He, is he here? He here. All he here. things? He here. One of the architects. Ooh, architect. Yeah, yeah. Discography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eight, eight bar to 16 bar turnaround yeah. king. Yeah, yeah. And a bridge. Brought his own sound. His own sound. Huh? The man got his own sound. The man got his own sound, man. The man was messing with oscillators and all sorts of stuff to make these sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the building super producer, yes, our brother, Mr. Mike Sinner. Mike in the building. Thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Um, Disclose, disclaimer, I mean. Okay, okay. I know these guys, so they'd be. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, listen, man, you can look him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you no, don't you. know, you should know. Um, I thought I had a single. On Dave Hollister, we'll we'll start here and then we'll go back. You go right to. I, I want to go right there. I thought I had a single, <laughs> you know, and uh, and Drano came and picked me up, and yeah, um, and probably some foreign, some some you know, foreign. A, a big I think, body. I think some. it was the Ben two door bands. Yeah, 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 big body, big body. body. He was rolling. Body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came and picked me up. Drano. And he was like, he's like, he's like, you 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 doing you doing smash records, you know what I'm saying? You doing crazy records. That's I love you, little brother. But we're going with this Mike City record. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you talking about? It's a great thing. <laughs> <segment. laughs> <So, laughs> into he like, like into him. like your record's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> Does he sound like Drake? Right? <laughs> Just like him. We're going with this Mike City record. Take take it's a smash. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smash. He played that record. I was like. It's a smash, but I'm just saying. I got, you ain't like three of mine. You ain't like all three of mine. It's gonna be on. The- <laughs> when you learn the difference between a smash and a hit, bro, listen. Because it's a record that could be a hit, but it's, it's certain records that are smash. Seeing you reminds yeah. me of. Yeah. As soon as he comes in, nights I used to beat it up. Well, you know. Oh my God! Isn't it crazy how back then, beat it up was almost a problem. Tom it was Fa- almost. It was. It was- you know what I'm saying? You were racing. It's, it's yeah. never been a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? As far as radio, though. It's, the it was, up remix is still available. <laughs> <You're> still, <laughs> on all platforms. <laughs> you know, it was... But to, from then to now, it to was, think you, that... You were beat saying it up, yeah, beat it up yeah, was racy. Yeah, yeah. No, it was. It was aggressive. It was aggressive. It was aggressive. Very you know, aggressive. And, and, you know, we... And I remember Steve Hart was saying, like, did that boy say beat it up? Did he say he beat it, it up? He said and it. he was like... And he sang it well. He, yeah, he was like... Okay, we're gonna play it, but he's saying beat it up now. Like of the nights I used to beat it up. <laughs> yeah. I would do it again, but I can't. <laughs> Everything's right. different now. Okay, let's talk about it. My because you was there. I would love to talk about it. Like, we're gonna start. <laughs> Normally, we yeah. like to start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna start here, then we're gonna go back. Come on, Mike City. Talk let's to talk me. about it. So talk. you was there. So I think at that time, if you remember, Dave was dealing with something with his wife at the time. Absolutely. Yeah. I said, Dave, I'm trying to write something to help you stay up in the marriage, yeah. like to stay, whatever this is. And Keisha was, I think her name was Keisha. I think it was, well, I'm, I'm not sure at okay, the time, okay. but she was cool. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, we going, I'm gonna come up with this. And, and at first he was like, I don't know about that city, cause we had other joint. I said, come on, Dave, give me a try, give me a try. So I played for Gerald Busby. And Gerald Busby's like, oh, not only are we cutting this the first single, before we cut it. We was at wow. Westlake on Beverly. Yeah. Not only are we cutting it, it's the first single. And he got that album done like in two weeks. Gerald had got his Mr. Chow that night, the whole nine. So what I did, and I was just telling Jay, I said, Dave, we ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna preach on this one. You gonna sit in there, you're gonna be in the booth, you're gonna be a lounge singer. Yeah. I don't know what he had. He might have a single more. I don't know yeah, what he had. The, it, yeah, he had a whiskey he, on him. Yeah, it was a whiskey right. on him. So I was, he was like, um, it's so fun. He just smoothed it all the way out. Yeah. And then getting back to our constant conversation, we got to the bridge. I said, Dave, we go on commission. He's like, Yes, dude, let's do it. And we went commission. And you know what? Do do. I don't know one, <laughs> I don't know one legit RB artist or group who's ever lost. Go on commission. Go on commission. If, they, if they can I mean, do it. you can talk about 112. I, I don't you know, know one who's ever lost. Jagged Edge. Like, They've never yeah, lost. You, you never lost. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you gained yeah. the audience yeah. from that yeah. lesson. 
Yeah. It's just what it is. Yeah. Okay, and, 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 Tank is still doing R&B records 20 years later because he's still got the commission lesson. Before we go and back. And the blessing. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I want to ask But I got to ask now, one okay, quick okay, question. Yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you write that record top to bottom? Yeah. Because like that attitude. should be saluted. Yeah, yeah. I don't like your attitude. A man that walks in the studio and says, "Here goes a song," completely. That's like, a different breed. Like no, attitude. no. It's just it's a different breed of creativity. I want to go back. See. Okay, on my drink champs rant. Okay, I want to. I want to go. Which, I wanna, which one? I want to back. <laughs> which which one? <laughs> which one? <laughs> I want to. Because no, he dropped the jewel. With I want to back away from. <laughs> The, and add another person to the hundred percenters. Okay. Okay. I I omitted you in that. No, that's all good. No, 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 no. You Mike City <clears throat> is a hundred percenter. Hundred percenter. With smashes. Smash. I'm done. Thank you. No, you should you should be saluted and celebrated <laughs> for that because what? that is not an easy feat. <laughs> like there are guys who can really write songs, there are guys who can do great beats there are guys who can produce those are all separate things mm -hmm. but for someone to be able to bring all that into one is an amazing feat man Absolutely. because and, and and so many people have tried it or so many people have said they were those guys and put their names on it like they yeah, were those guys ghost, ghosting for them ghosting everywhere yeah. ghost <laughs> ghosting yeah. everywhere guys just be but it is, it's, you know it's what I mean? The crazy thing about it is that what the ghost it, sounds like? The, 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 the crazy thing about it's it is RB like ghost. the crazy thing about it is I never really. It's all fun to me, yeah. right? So I never really kind of know what I'm gonna do until I sit down and do it. I'm not sitting down practicing no chord. I'm not even the keyboard player. I came up playing the drums and the bass, but that principle allowed me to figure out whatever I need to figure out yeah. to get what I got to get done. So it's like, I don't even sit down and just be like, I just sit down and be like, okay, well, what do we have today? You like, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, just like even um, working with Brandy, I started the track and. Okay, let's stop there. Yeah, yeah, he gonna yeah, hit cause you. Because you're going there. there. Okay, let's go <clears throat> back to the. Yeah, because we're going to get to Brandy for to sure. To no, to the beginning. Okay. North right? Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Philly. So, I'm born in Philly. Oh, Philly born though. Philly. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> what is the moment? Or when is the moment where Mike City is is in the headspace of oh I'm, I'm I can I can produce I can actually do this like this is a this is a real thing you know what I'm saying outside of being what church musician yeah because it's oh, so you started there. as a church musician mm -hmm. for sure I mean my father was in the Highway QC this big gospel group my brother played for the Mighty Clouds of Joy. Your brother oh. played for the Mighty Clouds yeah, of yeah. Joy. Yeah, yeah. So, it's so your brother's, like, a, so your brother's a gospel gangster is what you're telling yeah, me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Mighty Clouds. <laughs> yeah, listen. Listen, they'll tell they you about the Mighty Clouds sure. of Joy. Somebody yeah. had a pistol on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. They'll put you in the Mighty Clouds. What? <laughs> <laughs> you better respect what that yeah, is. You got to you gotta respect. Listen. You got to have their money. Listen. You got to have Joe Legon the money. You can't play with them. Mm -mm. <laughs> somebody somebody had a pistol. Yeah. What? Somebody's gonna have a pistol. <laughs> what? On site. Oh yeah. But your so, brother. Yeah. So my, oh my brother. God. Okay. My, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then like when I was young, like um, because of my father background, people like um, what's my man um, Johnny Taylor used to come by the house. Listen, these friends of my father. I don't know who they are. They just older right, dudes. Right, right. That's Uncle Johnny. With, yeah. Right. Come and kick with pops. My my pops was cool with um like um, um what's my man name um. Who Anthony sound like? What's my man's name? Um, cause I know his daughter. He'll, he'll trip. Um, Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. Um, uh, what's what's the name's uh, father? Frank White's father. Well, just Frank Robinson. Um, Jeffrey Osborne. Jeffrey no, not not mm -hmm. Jeffrey. Um, the old Lou Rawls. Oh, Lou Rawls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all. Like Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls. And, um, you said Lou Rawls would just come out of the house. You know, people. Lou Rawls. Um, um, Glenn Jones. What? Remember seeing Glenn Jones in my house when I was little? What? Yeah, like you know, <laughs> just cause my, my brother went to school <laughs> right. with my brother went to high school with um, what's the name um, uh, West Philly High with um, I think she sung Shane, dun, 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 dun. Um, Evelyn Champagne King. Mm. My brother went to high school like so. It, this is yeah. all around me coming up anyway, right? I'm just soaking up the energy. So by the time you know, I'm still doing and I'm going around playing and choirs and churches and stuff. Like um, I think there's an advantage to that because I was talking to like uh. 
Keith Pelzer produced um, for, um different, you know, uh, floor tree and different things. Like, we was young going around playing different churches and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure I ran across Dram Vidal and we all... So you're in Philly at this point? Yeah, I'm in Philly. I'm okay. living in okay. South Jersey, which is right over the bridge. Right, you know, of course. Got a, you know, my pops got us out of... I mean, we had a station wagon, stole one week, got another one, they stole another one in West Philly. It's like, consecutive weeks, like, we yeah. going to South Jersey. <laughs> we out. <clears throat> we out, right? So all that energy is helping, you know, breed, like, confidence in doing what you do. Now, when I went to college, I started as a business major, right? Then I heard boys the men. Why yeah, stepmom was my home teacher in high school. I was like, oh, it's musical bus. Hey, bro, this is just too much. It's, it's just, it's it was just too much. I was like, I can't run from what I'm supposed to do. Like, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to run from it. I'm supposed to do music. So I switched to music. And, I, you know, that's when I was like, I got to do this. And really the whole thing was, I was like, it was always a show like my boys and my, and my people. Like, I could do that. I would hear stuff from everyone like, I got something. That I could do that. But you're right. I have my own sound. So I was like, where do I fit in? Because I don't sound like that. I don't sound like that. It's not really all way R&B. It's not all the way hip. It's a merger of everything that I am. It was like... I mean, I just say when I first heard you, as you get into like you starting to create that sound, when I first heard it, it was like, it was like aggressive drums, but retro musicality, almost Stevie Wonderish. Mm. And I was and that's like, what I'm saying. Like, I was like, who would put those two? Right. Who would put all of that together like that? And that's that's just what I hear. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I hear and I hear bridges and I hear all that stuff. But I want to hear Wu-Tang under it. I want to hear yeah, Tribe under yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to hear Dre under it. So that was my thing. No, your music was aggressive. <clears throat> yeah, It's still aggressive. But it, yeah, but it was yeah, musical yeah, yeah. and aggressive. No, but I'm saying even when you first when you first I, came in, right, like right. it just, started that way. Yeah, it, just start, like, it, it just hit. It just, I, it, just, it, so it hit. I, just, I just like, it's like I always wanted to give it that bounce. So that's why I always say I come with the bounce because it's like no matter if I did I did a track the other day when I was in the right camp, it sounded like I did it in 2002. Because I know how to go right there because I always, that's a happy space, you know, and I never, you know, it's like I never had to chase trap or anything else. I just do what I do. Mm -hmm. And I do trap for TV and film and different things, but I always just do what I do because I'd be like, this going, it's going to last. Yeah. It's just going to last. And I always feel like if it lasts, and I try to tell like a lot of young producers, just do what you feel good about. And that's why it's like to feel good and everything because, you know, when we do these music like with R&B, you don't want to threaten the chicks. You don't want to threaten women. You want the beautiful no. women to stay around. Don't be too threatening. You know, Andre Rose said, don't threaten the women. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> keep the women. Don't keep, threaten the women. Don't threaten the women. <laughs> they got to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to have that energy. Like, you don't want to threaten them. As long as the pretty girls and everybody having a good time, we having a good time. Yeah. And that's what it, it is. It starts there. It, it starts first, there. It starts the, there. First, <laughs> the first piece of equipment you started producing on. DX100. DX the little 100. the little keyboard, and I had a Yamaha drum. I had that in college. I had a DX one hundred, the little version of the DX seven. I couldn't afford the DX seven. Wow! I bought an ASR ten instead of buying a car. I needed a car, but I said I need to get. You're in you college at this point. I had just got out of college. I said, but I need to. I need to get right. Once you got to that ASR ten, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I need to get right. Yeah. So I'm a, you know, chicks could clown me with my bummy car they want to. But I'm gonna have a laugh because I'm gonna get right. So I got the ASR ten, and I got to you know do my ten thousand hours in. Cause I always can write. I had to get to produce. Okay, got it. I could write whatever, but I had to learn I'm how in to the same space. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. I, can, I had to learn so how to was produce. So it, it was it <clears throat> was the producing out of necessity. Yeah, because I want. It, I Especially wasn't at this want, point, they couldn't send tracks. Couldn't send right? tracks. Right, it wasn't like the, you know sending yeah. an email and an MP3 over to somebody <clears throat> who lives in a whole other country. Like it's it's funny. Like now you, it's a kid. They'd be like, oh yeah, this little rapper got a producer. He in Germany. Right. What? Even even crazier now is. The guy in Wyoming mm -hmm. did the guitars. Yeah. The guy yeah, in yeah. Philly did the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy in Russia did the drums. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's how crazy it is now. It's, it's just crazy. So I, but, I had to give him the ASR ten. If to me it was a one hitter quitter. I know a lot of people was using the That's the SP twelve. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. SP twelve or the or the um MPs. I was like, let me get on this so I can play my keys and everything, do all this stuff and everything, and just and just go from there. And it just that's how I just came. And my first major placement was rapping forte. What? That, my first major placement. I told you when I hit you one day, RBL Posse, them was my guys. I was out no, there. No, I knew that RBL right. was your guys. I didn't know that. So I met 
I think it's Fly tied them guys. Yeah, yeah. I the, met all them. Guy and Fly. Artists. Yeah, the I met them. And and um, and, <laughs> and, that's crazy. And I met I met um, so Forte and them through RBL. So you know what I'm going to do at this point? I'm going to say that my neighborhood, Filmo, started Mike City. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever we go from here on, Filmo started Mike City. My because first major place was Rapping Forte. That's is a fact. A legend. That's a, a fact. legend that's from a fact. from our neighborhood. He had the first platinum record out of San Francisco from a rapper, oh, that's the crazy. Players Club. Yep. You know what I mean? If you ever, you know, you want to feel like a player, <laughs> right. go listen yeah, to the Players right. Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yup, yeah, because I went to the Gavin Sessions just to get the oh, mix. Oh, the Gavin. Like, yeah, remember? Yes, my my big cousin used to be one of the people put on the Gavin. I went there just to get the mix. Tatum. And I started just just getting in pocket with people. And RBO came on, boy, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm out there. And Black Sea. Black, Black Sea and, um, and rest in peace. Um, Mr. C. I didn't know him. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, 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 hit, hit Man. Hit, hit man. Hit man. Yeah. I was with all of them yeah. out there. And we was all out there at, um, in Antioch. I'm out mm -hmm. there in Antioch with yeah. them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just That's getting all in. That's what Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is like how the Bay Area and how yeah. it's all come yeah. into the it. The Bay is like, very inclusive. Yeah, yeah. Like if, if, they, yeah. if they feel your vibe, you good. If they don't feel your vibe, you got to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got to go. <laughs> so you got to go. You know, the Bay is, <laughs> Bay different like that. Yeah, you got to go. My yeah. wife from the Bay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the Bay is like, if they feel your vibe, it's, it's, it's inclusive. If, if your vibe so. ain't right, Yeah, yeah. You're going to get pushed up out of there quick. Yeah, like we ain't playing with you. So no, so that's so doing all that, you know, and and it's like that jumped it off and everything. So your first placement, if you don't mind me asking you, what do you charge for your first placement? Hmm. My first placement, I think I might have charged two G's or something. Like two thousand. Two G's, twenty five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I, I charged twenty. I charged seventy five hundred for I wish, but I kept my publishing. <laughs> with the hands though with the hands all of it so how between those two records because <laughs> obviously that's where we so I wish was your second record I wish because that's a, where we all found yeah, out right. about Mike City to me I, here's, I, the, I here's believe here's the thing <clears throat> at first I didn't really like where R&B was going so I was like I should be a hip hop producer I just do beats and just whatever it is and I had that that record laying around this one. and then you you know tough tough mm -hmm. John Live him Absolutely. hot tough I grew up with tough in Jersey, him and Carl knows people he's like give me that record <laughs> he's like let me let me show you let me he said you ain't got he's like I know you got that record let me play it for Carl so at first it was just <clears> a track <throat> just a song I had I already had it oh the song was done okay hundred percent hundred percent I added the bridge. Of course, hundred yeah. percent. No, you know what? You don't do that. I want to throw something at him. You res I, listen, respect that man for his hundred percent. I just game. want to hear him say it. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> what happened was, um, so they played it and Carl loved it, mm -hmm. right? So then, um, Carl had told um, Puff about it, and I'm up in at this point. I'm in Yonkers with with D and Juan and Rough Rider now. I'm about to get down with them because my boy was signing them, and I like hip hop. And you so doing I'm, hip hop? Yeah. So I'm like. But you got this R and B. But I, I got some R and B stuff. Timeless got record. Just yeah, timeless. Right? Tough. How so, old is this record at this point? I probably wrote "I Wish" in ninety seven, ninety eight, and it comes out what like ninety nine, two thousand. Two thousand ninety nine. Okay. So I probably did the beat ninety six, and I wrote it in ninety seven, ninety eight. It was a true story, straight up. You wish you never met her. Was, wow. <laughs> chick was so bad. I went, at all. Listen, wow. I went, wow. Chick, all too not though. to get sidetracked. Chick was so bad. I went back to. No, this is not sidetrack. Go ahead, finish. I please. went back to vote one time. Cause my license was still in North Carolina, I saw her from a distance. I was about to get out of there again. Didn't you didn't know it realize her. it was her. <laughs> Don't ever walk down that path again. Then, real talk. So yeah, so we doing all that and everything. So um, Carl got puffed to um, you know, you know, listen to the record, I guess, or whatever was going on. But this was right around the time when the Free Locks campaign was going on. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, they was talking so about throwing stuff out the windows and everything. So this yeah, is yeah, important okay. story. So they called me to the studio. Carl come to come to go get to um, Daddy's house to go get with Puff. Not knowing, I'm up there with a the Rough Rider. So me, my man AG, and this dude Raj, I think he had on a, a Rough Rider oh, shirt. <laughs> so we get to the politics. We get to Daddy's house. We get in the studio. Now, I, now I know all these people later, but it was like Puff, Harv, Conrad. Maybe Bobby, a few other people. And then Puff is like, "Yo, who's all these niggas up in here in the studio? Blah 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 blah. Y'all know I'm trying to get blah blah blah. They kicked us out of the studio. I got kicked out of Daddy's house. One hundred. Before you ever played the record. Before I couldn't even play the record. I got kicked out of Daddy's house. 
I was like, all right, that's cool. I'm going back to Yonkers. A week later, Tough called me. He was like, Puff heard the record. He loved the record. We want to cut the record. He was like, yo, meet me in the Bronx. Because you know the Yonkers is wild. He's like, meet me in the Bronx. Come, come meet me in the Bronx. And we're going to go there. So I went from getting kicked out of his daddy's house to being up at Sound on Sound, Electric Lady, um, Hit Factory within a matter of a week. I was, and at this point, I'm just trying to get on the yeah. album. Yeah. There was no single. I'm like, yeah. <clears throat> he was like, yo, just you can start writing and producing people and we'll move around like that. I'm just trying to get on the album. I, so we do that record and everything. And then I had another record that they wanted for Tanya Blunt that she was on the label Tanya too, right? Tanya Blunt, yeah. Yeah. Carl yeah. heard the record. He was like, give me that record. I'm cutting that record. He took the record and that was, you ain't right. So that's the other record that I got on that. I got an album. The- Carl took the record, right? So we just trying to get on the record right in there. But during this whole time, by all this time happening stuff, I already got Sunshine tucked away. And we starting to work on oh, You stuff. got Sunshine Anderson. Yeah. And that's when I'm coming Hold out Hold on. What do you here. mean you have Sunshine Anderson? I went to, when I was getting out of college, she was coming in college. So we've known, I've been kind of grooming her since the mid 90s. And, and I was going to have a production deal with Capitol Records back then, but they shut down the black music department. Mm-hmm. So that kind of got foiled and everything. So, but she was in DC working for the government. I'm like, yo, it's time to go. We're going to LA. That's how I'm out here. I wasn't supposed to be here. Like, we came out here to work on an album. And I started learning my way around. I was like, hey, I kind of like LA. This is yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. And the weather, I was like, now I'm married with two kids. So, you know, like, <laughs> now you still a girl from the Bay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 Everything is just happening at that time, and um, and it's crazy because I wound up doing uh, I did crawling. We we recorded I wish, I want to say June of 1999. And here's another sidebar. You know I was living in Durham, North Carolina for a long time, right? Okay. So because most people mm-hmm. think that you're from North Carolina, because yeah, I, I went down as there many and years as I've known yeah. you, I thought you were from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I went down there and stayed after college, so that's how I, you know. I got associated with that and Mark Sparks and them from now in North Carolina, right? Yeah. So, 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 um, so around this time, June in June '99, um, Corey McGetty and Elton, they my guys. They playing that dude. They playing that dude. I was supposed to go to the draft in DC with Elton. I couldn't just go rolling with your homie because I was in New York doing I wish. <laughs> hmm. It's fair trade. I mean, obviously, hey, listen, hey guys, one hey, pick. hey guys. <laughs> Go do your work <laughs> right. so that you can become a number one pick. Right. It's cool to <laughs> hang out with the homies. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But you could go get you an I wish. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, because um, cause, um, I remember he told me, he told us he was coming out. You know what I'm saying? He had broke his foot the year before and mm-hmm. he would play of the year. I remember the draft was in DC that year. Mm-hmm. So, I was in New York doing that. So, everything coming together, I was like, oh, my man drafted number one. I'm doing a record on Puff Label. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this could be cool. Like, I'm starting to move around. That fall, September, October, is when I did it, um, heard of before. That was in the same year. Just yeah, the same. Yeah, it was just, and I did that with Pinky and Sunshine, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. we started doing all that, then everything. So it seemed like everything started happening at the same time, but it was like I was kind of already. But you don't have a no deal seats, for, yeah, but yeah. you don't have a deal for Sunshine at this no, time. No, we didn't have a deal yet. So y'all doing, y'all, had, y'all came into the door yeah, they, we had with, with heard it all before. Yeah, straight up. Because Anthony, y'all walk in the label with that. No question. Because Anthony, Anthony was supposed to come first because Anthony had already had a deal before. Anthony Hamilton. Hamilton. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anthony, he was supposed to come first. That record went so crazy. It was out in L.A. a whole year. Remember before it came out? Everybody in L.A. knew the record. Yeah. They was playing at Prezos and different clubs. So we kind of seeded it a whole year before it came out. So it's crazy because it's like after Carl came out, that's when I got with Dave. But I had already had... Sunshine in the can, just sitting there the whole time, mm-hmm. just waiting. Waiting her turn. Just yeah. waiting her turn and everything. So it's like, it's like everything happened, but you got to be prepared when it, it happens and everything. And, and for me, I was like, man, I know what it's like not to have, so I'm going to be prepared. So at my sessions, you know, you can't be up in here. No, nah, then you ain't going to be up here wasting the time. We got to get it, the work done. We're going to have fun, but we're going to get the work done. I, I got to be a finisher. Right. Now, now that I'm in the game right now, mm-hmm. yeah. I gotta be a finisher. We gotta get it done, and we got. And that's which is the true next. producer's mindset, right? <clears throat> because that's what you know. We've we've talked about yeah. this, you know, many a times on the podcast at this point. Like, that's truly what a producer is. Yeah, I, I, I gotta finisher. be a finisher. We gotta we gotta get it finished. We gotta get these vocals out. 
we got Deuce, that, and the third. And, I mean, I'm singing on Sunshine album a lot because I had to get her motivated to go. On. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get in the booth. Let's go. Yeah. And, you know, you push those right buttons and you get it to go and everything. And it was, it was like a lot of female, some female artists who were big then, they wanted, and labels wanted me to get that record to I was like, no, I can't do her like oh, that. So they were trying to take the record. Oh, they were trying to take they that record. They needed that. They were trying to take no, the record. No, that's a, I mean, Heard It All Before is a first listen. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were it's trying a first to take the listen. record. They were trying to take the record. I was like, no, I can't do that. And you know, it was, it was, it was, was Heard It All Before um, from an experience you might have had in, in, in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area? I go even deeper. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sunshine. I knew her old boyfriend. We didn't have to reach for the story. We, yeah. I, I, because y'all had the talking part I, in the front. I pulled the, and whole, the whole thing. Yeah, but I'm talking about, I'm no, talking about musically. No, nah, ah, man. You know, the bounce to it. Yes. Yeah. Go go. Yeah. No, yeah. without a question. Yeah. There's a, there. Because yeah. when you, when with, that with, came on, without I said without a question. <laughs> without, <laughs> a question <laughs> without a question. Without a question. <laughs> There's a large percentage of go go and heard it all before. Because when you hear That's the swing, when you hear the the go go version of heard it all before, it's yanking. Yeah. That's no without a question. Without a question. I wanted that go. Oh my I wanted, God. I wanted that go go song. All the go go songs work. No question. I listen, I cannot I can, I can I cannot argue you. To hide in here with Nelly. Can't lose. It's a, it's such, a, it's all a of them work. It work. It do something to you when that when that's man, listen. It, it, it. Rest in peace to my man, Grandmaster Slice. He had one of those, he had that beat on a beat tape. He had um the um Electro Slide joint back in the day. And it went crazy, and he ended up being on Jive, and he had that beat in the beat tape, and he and he reminded me of it. He was like, "Yo, like I did always like the record." I was like, "He's like, what you gonna do with it?" I said, "All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna play it for Sunshine and see if she like it." So I played it for her, and obviously she was just coming from living in DC. Mm -hmm. She was like, "Yeah, city, let's do that." So I was like, "You know what? I want to do a record heard all before," and I knew her story because of the dude that she was with. Yeah. yeah. So the first day, me, her, and Pinky, we sitting there, and we we came up the hook. Pinky don't show up to the session the next day. That's why she not. That, she's a writer, but she probably have more. But everything happened for a reason. So we got that together. And next thing you know, I was like, I didn't know I wish was gonna jump off. I knew her before it was gonna. I it it had a winning spirit. The song just had a mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it had a it yeah. had a spirit to it. Like you can't hear that and not react. And right. if, and. and and if you're a woman, they gonna they gonna that's gonna resonate with women. Heard it all before and everything, you know. So they had all the right elements. We had we mm -hmm. we we had and everything. And I and I'll never forget. Um, we was in New York at a meeting one time. Me and Tough, we and I had to go get a charger or something. And I came out the store, and Jazzy Joyce was playing it. And Tough looked at me. He said, "It's about to be a problem." He said, "Cause New York is gonna go crazy with this record." He said, yeah. "He said I knew it was crazy here in the studio, but hearing the blasting out of New York speakers." I know what this is. And it's like, just so crazy. It was crazy because I remember D from Ruff, because once I had, the, I had the relationship with the Ruff, like D called me, um, no, Y called me. He said, Yo, City, City, you know, um, Kiss going to get on this remix, you know what I'm saying? I heard it all before, the Sunshine joint. And I'm thinking like, wait a minute, I think Foxy Brown's supposed to be on the remix of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that we had talked about, Tina yeah. Day, we had talked about it. <laughs> Yo, Jay Kiss put his own remix out. It oh, yeah, he, yeah. Oh, they, listen, he you can't stop his, the streets. Can't stop, he, yeah. You can't stop the streets, man. And Hot 97 man. was playing his remix. Yeah, because he's so Jada Kid. He's, he's yeah. like, yeah. And he, when I saw him, he's like, City, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> what you expect? I had to. <laughs> you see how the beat is moving? I just, I mean, that's what I do. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so was Sunshine through your production company? No, it was, it was through... Um, Spark and um and Chris Dolly, I grew up with Chris, like Chris, like okay. like a lot of relationships with the people I went to school with. I was in fifth grade with Chris. Wow, like we go back to that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because I always thought it wasn't my deal. I always thought that was through you. I it always thought it was through Mark Spark and, and Chris Dolly Soul. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, we go back, and then he started. He got and he started managing like nice and smooth, and he got old and everything. And obviously, Spark did shoot for um Salt and Pepper. Mm -hmm. So like you know, with, with 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 all that stuff, Spark was just showing me through the through the ropes. I remember one time we was in New York recording, and he was like, um, "See, see, he called me, see you down, see you. We 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 going to L.A." I'm like, "What?" 
He said, yeah, we going we hopped on the TWA. Remember TWA? Yeah, absolutely, man. We yeah. hopped on the TWA. I mean, we, we used to call that the teeny weeny afro, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? She, Listen, we, a, we hopped on she got the TWA. We hopped on <laughs> I said, yo, I ain't got no clothes. He's like, oh, we going to get some clothes when we get there. So we went up. We was uptown. We we went up, We got some like boxers, socks, and all type of stuff to go to LA. Oh, we get some clothes we get there. We get here. I think we go to Beverly Center where we get some clothes. And we get here. We go to Enterprise Studio. We That's, just touch yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. I touch, I remember um, Dana Dane. He, he's like, yo, you, he's like, took me to Fat Burgers. Like Dana, all my man. He's like, you don't even. I said, I don't know my way around. I had been here before. Like my first time here was back in the day with Malik Levy when I was supposed to do the deal with Capital AG and everything. But I hadn't really started be going to studios and everything yet. You know, but my whole journey is crazy. Like, like, like honestly, when I got to, when I when I first came to LA, the next day I met. Aaliyah and Brandy at the Hollywood Roosevelt on, on a whim. Just, I was standing there and they was downstairs doing something. LA. <clears throat> it's LA for you. On a whim, it's LA. right? Then that night, I end up, the first people I met was probably Ian, Raina, and Regina King. I end up, I end up at their house. <laughs> the first night, I'm literally in LA. I'm like, okay, you know, just touching down with people. And then the next day I'm in with Raz. Like these these people I just known since and this is like ninety five never you know this what I'm saying? 95? Yeah, and I first oh, wow. came up. I first came to LA. The first time I came to LA is when the Chargers and the 49ers played in the Super Bowl that weekend. Whatever weekend that was. I, I mean, whatever weekend it was, I mean it was, you know, when the Niners won. Y'all won. For yeah, sure. yeah, I mean when we when we won a Super Bowl. Yeah. All right, cause no I, I you know, I, I see the hat you have on. I do see the hat you no, have no. on. This is North Carolina Central Eagles. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to yeah, say, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, over there with the, you over there with the Eagles hat yeah, on, like a man. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah, green yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, one. So, 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 you it's know, like just, the, just the whole, just the whole experience and everything. And it's like, you know, but I always just, I try to have fun and everything mm -hmm. because it's like, it's a blessing, man. We ain't got to be, we ain't got to be. It's so many talented people that don't know where to start and everything. But the one thing you will, you got to do. If you don't put in the work, you're going to start going backwards. So let's go back to this, yeah. something you said. You said you said you got paid $7,500 yeah. for I Wish, but you kept all of your publishing. Yes, I did. And so back in those days. And Puff wrote me a personal check. So back in back in those days, people, or even labels for that matter, or, you know, <clears throat> the, the bite out of the publishing was a real thing. It was a real thing. You know what I'm saying, and trying to hold on and maintain that was a fight for your life. Here's my here, here's what my blessing was though. I used to cut hair. Wow. So I didn't have to do that record. Meaning what? Meaning I go back cut hair and just do what you I had do. a gig. Yeah, like something that you can make. Had money. a trade. Yeah, right, I had right, a yeah. trade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. and and um and and Hawk and Tough, they 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 ushered me through it and everything. And they basically said, um, he's not giving you on the publishing. And if he don't get his check for us, what is it? We're going to take the record somewhere else. Yeah. But by then, me and Carl was already cool. And it was, so we, it was, that wasn't going to happen. But, um, but Puff respected that, though. And he was like, you know what? He wrote a personal check out of his own thing. I should have took a, I mean, we didn't have camera phone back then, but he, he wrote me a personal check back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I remember the first thing I did, you know, back then, I went and bought some more like drums. Like I was like, let me get some more drums and sample drums. Cause as a producer, you, you always want some more sounds. You always want to. That's what you did with your first check. I didn't spend all fifteen hundred, but unlike I, Tank, <laughs> I went and got rims. <laughs> <laughs> but look though, you know. But back then, how did the rims every, help your career, bro? But back then, what it, it gave us something more to write you about. Kidding me? Right. What? Right. The rim, the low and hard LD ones <laughs> on the GS three hundred yes, platinum I mean. edition, black on black, floating through LA. Oh my I was God. The man, that's how it helped my career. <laughs> I pulled up to the strip clubs on lean. But man, I, I, and I knew, I knew, it went from just getting on the album to, oh, this record's a real record, right? So then, um, I remember one time. I had caught the bus back to Jersey. My mom and dad was living down in South Jersey, um, and they called me back up to Daddy's you, house to clean. Wait, 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 you caught the bus? Bus from where to where? From Port Authority. Oh, the new, oh, you yeah, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking. I thought you were in L.A. I was yeah, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, like, what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it went bad. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no I, I'm, and this is when we still getting everything together for the album. I, I'm catching it back to Jersey. 
But by then, I get a call from, I think, the a &R, Bobby Springsteen, and somebody was like, Puff, won't you come back? They're going, he going through an impromptu listening party for Carl. I catch the bus right back and get a hotel room up there. So I get up there, and, I, and, I, and that's, when I, that's when it really became real to me because I remember, um, I remember Jay-Z pulling me to the side. He was like, yo, this record feel like when I was, when I was a youngin' riding with my mom on the bus. Like, this giving me nostalgia right now. You know what I'm saying? I was like... And you know, this is like uh, 99, yeah. 99. Um, he cracking. Jay, this, little, Crack. this is right in the middle of Jay. Cracking. Yeah. I mean, not that it slowed down, but yeah, this yeah. is right in the middle. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, okay. And then the next thing you know, they, they're getting everything together. And I think they were going to come with emotional first. Who did emotional? Mario. Mario. Mario, Mario did do emotional. Yep. I can hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Now you say that, I, I, yeah, 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 you hear, yeah, I uh -huh. can hear, yeah. There's going to come with emotional first, and then he was doing the sampler and everything, and it was like, they switched it up at the last minute. Now, by this time, I'm living in L.A. by the time Carl really comes out, right? So I remember um, I had met Jaleel White. Yeah, my he, God. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Jaleel Stephon came. Stephon Urkel. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. And he'll, and he'll, and he'll <laughs> rap by, so Jaleel came. And I said, Jalil, I'm working on this day. I said, with Carl, and Carl was not said, but he's on Bad Boy. I said, I think it's going to jump off and everything. So I gave him the sampler. He went on a ski trip. When he, because I'll never forget, he hit me. When, by the time he got back from the ski trip, all he heard on the radio was I wish. And he hit me. He was like, yo, so I'm listening to the thing, and you telling me it's going to be all yeah, right. Yeah. And by the time I get back from the ski trip, it's it the consumed the radio. Yeah, and it's like the even with Big with shit. Big John. I met I met Big John. Uh, um, I think when I want to say, um, "How can I be down?" Or one of those conferences in Miami a year before um, Carl came, and I told him, I said, I didn't even know who he was. I just happened to sit next to him at, at the conference. I was like, and they said he's a publisher. I say, I said, yo, man, you know what? I said, I don't I don't think I'm ready for a publishing job right now. I said I just did a record on Puff Label gonna come out next year but i don't think i'm ready for it yet and everything but you know when i'm ready you know, I, I think i'll be able to hire you so next year came around big john Fom, he said yo i can't believe you told me last year yeah, you right, did this record right, right he said i can't believe you was like i'm not ready but i'm but i'm I, coming but i'm going ready. <laughs> yeah yeah and it, it, it just you so know, did you do your first deal with big john no i actually did my first deal with um with warner uh. because Big John was supposed to actually go to Warner. He was actually supposed to go to Warner because he... Because at that time, he, was he still at EMI? EMI, but he kind of... He a and would Brandy Project. And John, when, would, John would do that. Yeah. John when, would... When I, people didn't... People didn't... People... Uh, not even people didn't know, but people don't know how many projects he's been instrumental in um, from even an A&R sense. Yeah, he... Like, he, he's known as like he, the... The greatest publisher. That's that is what Big John is known for. People don't realize he's behind major projects mm -hmm. from an A and R sense. He is, and, um, and it's like um, he, I remember one day we had a conversation. He said, "City, write me something happy for Brandy. Brandy needs something happy. Just give me something happy and everything." And that's how I got full moon. I mean, I was I said, "Okay, what what can I do and everything?" And um, I just didn't know if I was in there cooking, and I just started. Da, 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 da. So, um, she Who had, wrote Full Moon? <clears throat> I wrote it. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> that didn't just come to me. It took me two weeks to write that record. Let me, let me go. On. So, <clears throat> so we. So, we doing that right. I'm doing that. And um, I'm working on the track. And she had went to the Beverly Center. And I want to say we was at um the, the Beverly Center used to be cracking. Yeah, she was at the Beverly Center. We used to go, listen, no question. It's, it was a destination. It's really not yeah. somewhere it's not you go like now. That, no. like, it's, it's, it's you might need your It was a destination yeah. early, it's, it's early, early 2000s, yeah, yeah. late yeah, 90s. Yeah. yeah. She said, Sam, we're going to the I don't Beverly think it's Center. been the same since since All Star Weekend when BMF was throwing hundreds off of the <laughs> it was still third floor. No, good. I said I said it's ain't been the same since then. Since probably 2003, that was like the last time it was cracking, it was cracking, cracking, cracking. When BMF made it rain like it was the strip club, it was crazy at Beverly Center. Never seen anything like that in my life. I'm sorry for no, cutting you off. No, it's all good. But he just, <laughs> that's the Beverly Center. So, so, that's what the Beverly Center <laughs> represents so, to me. So she went. So she went to um. She went to Beverly Center, and I had it going and everything. So Atashi came back. I had went in the booth to you know do a little like demo. The um. I ain't even gonna. So she was like, she came back and was like, oh, you know she 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 when she gets in work mode, it's like, 
Gone. It's work mode. Machine. She's not playing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She beeline to the booth. She knocked out the hook. And I and I was like, I'll work on it. So for two weeks, I worked on it. Because I didn't want to, you know, she was coming off of Never Say Never. I wanted to make sure I had it right. So when we got it done, it was crazy. And then we had other joints done. And the next thing you know, when the time for her album came around, they was taking all these songs off the record. And they was trying to take everything off the record, right? And even Full Moon. Now, I had other people wanting to buy Full Moon, but it's Brandy. It is Brandy. It's Brandy. Like, she, she, yeah. She's different. It's Brandy. Mm-hmm. It's Brandy. She's different. So she does a gangster move. She calls a meeting, and she names the album Full Moon. <laughs> Just so they can't take that song off. I don't it. play with the record I love. Wow. It's a fact. She wow. named the album Full Moon so they can't take it off of it. She's like, I had enough. What she a na- record, yeah, though. Yeah, she How named it Full Moon. So way to fight for off. the record that you love, though. What a record. You know what I'm saying? So, And I, I'll say that, like, um, just working with her, it just lets you know, like, there's levels to this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's all levels. Like, like Carl's a crooner. Carl's like, you know what I'm saying? He's like... uh. Nat King Cole, he pronounces every word clear mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and everything. I mean, John Legend come from Carl. Hey, listen. It's a fact. Listen. Talk to talk. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Carl yeah. Thomas walked so <laughs> John Legend yeah. could run. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> We're not going to listen. This is the R&B Money Podcast, baby. It, it, starts, with, authority. it starts there. We, we lo- Absolutely. John is album. amazing. I'm, I missed the first album because he got a, he got into the groove with, um, I think he got into the groove with uh, Will I Am and whoever else they finished it. But KP bought John through. We we chopped it up for the first um, and um, we spoke the work. But yeah, he he walked so he could run, right? Yeah. And then you know you have Dave. Well, Dave is commissioning them. I know what when he when he went there, like Dave is the he know you gonna know what that is. Brandy is an alien. It's something else happening. <laughs> no, it's serious. Yeah. Like it's yeah, it's something else. It prepares you for anything. Anything because it's like or. It completely oh, yeah. warps your perception or, of everything that. else. Yeah, because 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 you get so spoiled. Great. Yeah, yeah. you be like, yeah, yeah, You're like I don't right? want to do it unless it's on this. Yeah, but it's you know, so it prepares you and our work ethic, and it just it prepares you. Like, you know, it's like little sister. Like she do a hundred a hundred tracks of vocals, and then say she don't like the intonation or something, and I'm ready to choke her out. Absolutely, because you know, we didn't spend three hours doing that, and she be like, no, nah, I want to do it all over. And then she hit you with the, the city is my it's my voice though it's my it's my instrument I know, mm. and I gotta respect that because it's like, I mean she been putting four and five M's on the board yeah. since she was seventeen eighteen, yeah. so you got you know what I'm saying like she give and take a little bit but I always got she used her full moon on you. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Speaking of which, when, when they did the show and they did the um her the um whatever show, it seemed like that was the hottest day ever in Calabasas. I don't know what was going on that day. When she did her um TV show when she when she was um pregnant with Sarai, oh, I didn't see it. I didn't yeah, see it. It felt like the sun was. It felt like it was the equator. I I don't know what happened that day, but you know what I'm saying like even that album, it went platinum, but it got it kind of got cut short because she yeah. couldn't do all the promotional run yeah, from yeah. everything. But no, I mean like she raised a whole generation of singers for sure. What do you yeah. feel like yeah. as shit producer songwriter? Do you feel like I wish was was the breaking point for you, for sure. Where you felt like, because you were, you just said you were, you were hip hop. Yeah, that's where you were going. But, but the you thing feel about like, it is, it's still in my product. Like even that record, that's no, why absolutely. I feel like that. But, but you're able to do it from a bottom standpoint. And they let me to do keep it. Your, I was yeah. like, they let me. Oh, they gonna let me do this? You mean I could really, I could really put like, I could get on some Wu Tang and, and Luther, like you know. So now let's get, let's get technical. Let's get technical. Is it four bar loops? Eight bar loops or sixteen bar loops? It depends. It it, it depends because like you know how you, when you go on the loops, when you do them, you might want to add something here, or add something there. So it it depends. You it's, might want the bass to turn around yeah, different you know on the so eight versus the sixteen to make it feel or, different, or you want to mm-hmm. invert it and everything. So it depends. But, but it, it, it's, it felt like to me, from a technical standpoint, that you would because what I would do, right? Same as you, yeah. is I would do either a fully Blown out eight or a fully blown out sixteen, and then you start and then scaling back. Start yep. scaling back. Yup, and then add build pieces yep. and all of these things. And then what I stole from Devonte was I would make <clears throat> certain things happen 
in a certain part of the song to give that, him would, that, that would never happen that again. Never right, happen the again. little hair candy, yeah. Just that, they like, do that? Is it? Right. Yeah. Is he going to do it again? Oh, we got to run it. We got to run it. Like, I stole that from Devante. But you, I felt like, like the, the reason why I really zoned in on you and your production is because it was banging so crazy. It was almost like Dr. Dre doing R&B music. Like, maybe that's why was, Dre messed with me. It was yeah. Yeah. probably yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that's why, you know, because it is. He was banging out. And, and even at that, though, even after, that's why the, the producer community is so close-knit, right? Even after I already had hit records, I go check, I go, I'm sitting, Jay, Dre would slide me some drums. He'd be like, slide with that. You know what I'm saying? See, even after, like, because he knew that's what I was on. Yeah. That is a loss. Super. You know what I'm saying? Is, no, 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 no. Trace first Lidge, first you, you hit drums. us with the Jay-Z. First yeah, you Jay-Z. hit us with the Jay-Z. You made uh, Jay-Z have memories of his childhood. He told music. me that. I couldn't I, believe no, it. No, no, I, Puff, I get it, brother. Puff writes personal checks, not business. Puff he wrote a personal check. A personal check his, from his, Sean Cole. Out of his nation's bank account. Yeah, yeah. Nation's yeah. Bank? yeah and yeah. then <laughs> Dr. Dre just S- casually slides you, slides you drum sounds. Let me see what you can do with it. Yeah, yeah, because I think you're great. Because he not slide drum sounds. Nah, he, to just, me. You know, to nobody. <laughs> yeah, you not. And you know, it's just to be the vibe and everything. But it's like, and it's funny because, rest in peace, um, um, your man who wrote him hits for uh, for Aaliyah. Static major. Static, static, right? Yeah. I had that contagious beat before static. I didn't know what to do with it. I'm sure it's still in my garage. I mean, my, um, I had that beat. Before he wrote that record, wow! It just there wasn't, wasn't right, that wasn't right. my just call. awesome. So so <clears> were <throat> you at one point a higher gun from that side as far as 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 just your pen, just your lyric? Because I didn't, I never knew that. I, I always looked at you as Mike City does Mike City records. Right. I never looked at it like oh, Dr. Dre, DJ Quick, whoever, uh, producer. Is sending Mike City records to write top line to. Right. Here's the thing, when you when you around greatness, the the good thing about when I used to do all this stuff, when I go around Dre, I ain't gotta produce. Right. You got Dre and you got all these all these. Oh, I could write. Right. You, so I write. You almost relax. For real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I could write just. Yeah. All right, cool. So I end up writing um, the game record. Um, baby, don't worry about it. I'ma be right here. That was. That was game featuring Brandy first. We got Mary on it at the last minute. Mm. That was game, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I show up, what we doing? Because it's a community. Yeah. You Dr. Dre, I ain't got to come here producing. Wherever yeah. I fit and I'm in. A, and I'm going to yeah. learn something. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to see what you, how you tweaking. Yeah. I told him last week, I'm trying to come over there and see and tweak something so I could, um, because I'm learning. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. You was the first person whose house I went to you can't. That, I'm about to tell you a story about on him though. That had an SSL <laughs> board. No, it was um. It wasn't SSL. It was. It was, it was, it's was what Babyface had. It's the um. It was the um. Euphonics. It was a Euphonics. The old Manny Manny Monica yeah. King house. Yeah. It was a Euphonics. Euphonics. Well, okay. Euphonics. First, but it was. Yeah. It, you had a big board. I did. I did. <laughs> in your house. I was yeah. like, "What is this doing here?" Yeah, I did. I've been over there. But here's what's yeah. crazy though. Yeah. Here's what's crazy. So look. Tank had, Tank had to catch a flight one day when we was cutting a record. He literally shows up on the way to the airport and cut a record in an hour. Like, and I mean, like, top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, he's an alien too. <laughs> but I knew that though because you remember I used to stick my head in sometime in the, um, the underdogs. And I, and I always would tell, I told them, I was like, when Eric Dawkins and Tank got there, the placements went up. What you? What is this? <laughs> true. It went up. It's true. Because when you hearing that, when artists are hearing that, even if they can't get to that level, they be like, "I need to try to get to that right. level. I right. want that record." Right. Mm-hmm. I need to sing. It's that. a great selling point. Why didn't you smack point. with it? It's a great yeah, yeah, selling point. Smack with it. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I, I tried. I mean, it might have been. Think could have been some equity. I'm just saying because I I saw it. Yeah. Left and right. Boom boom. Steve was there. They had, yeah, had a machine of um, boom, 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 boom. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm, I mean, I saw it. So another piece that you spoke about earlier that we didn't get to, that we haven't gotten to yet, is not only are you doing, you know, records 
hit records for artists. There's also a space that, you know, which is new to most songwriters and producers, which is the TV and film side. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got a <clears throat> I got my first taste of that working with the underdogs doing Dream Girls. Right. That was like my first like intro to like And you know like hey. And and that was a different kind of dive right, because right. that was like that was like zero to a hundred. You know what I'm saying? There was no intro to prepare you for Dream Girls, which became like a year process, right? But can you can you speak to even making the decision to even go in that direction to even do that? Like what prompted that? Well, we kind of talked about it before. Like basically, <clears throat> y'all kind of the last of the Mohicans. Labels started stunting on R and B. Yeah. Right? We don't want to do this any third, this that and the third. I was like, I found somebody that could use my services. <laughs> hmm. Right. Hmm. I don't care where I'm. I'm not. I'm blessed. I done went platinum. I done had number one records. And, you know, and this that and the third. I don't need to chase that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be comfortable with doing, doing, have right. fun doing it and everything. Right. So if TV and film want to rock with me and what I do and everything, so be it. I get to just go have fun and create. And when y'all want to come back and see me, y'all want to holler in what I do. Right. You pull up. Here. Other than that, I'm at the gym or I'm walking. I'm trying to preserve myself. Always at the gym. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying. How lucrative, <clears throat> if you can tell the producers and writers out there? It, it depends. Now, mm -hmm. It's a steady grind, so that could be if you do a lot, it could be lucrative. Or if you if you get into the right agencies, there's actually more lucrative than records because some agencies, when you're doing um, ads and different stuff, depending on who you get with, it's like a budget, like like a um, album like, budget. Like album you budget. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So they paying off for that and everything. So it, it you got to ride the wave, but it's like I get up every day and I do this down the third, like you know. All them 50 shows you hear me on. If you're hearing something that's feeling like some boom bap, whatever, it might boom be me. Boom bap, that's probably me. <laughs> it might be me. Yeah. It might be me. And you say you have a <clears throat> specific agency that represents you for that. No, I or don't. You, or now you, it's just your relationships. Just my relationships. Yeah. If I get with the agency and, and we talk right, it'd be cool. But yeah, um, I know. I got I got a, um, I just did a theme song for a Disney thing on Munchlands. Um, a character they just released last week. I did that with a company. And um, hopefully that'll go big and everything. Yeah. I was spitting bars and everything. But the thing about it, though, is... That's cool. Like, if you could sing, of course you could spit a bar. I mean, like, not being... It's not even discrediting rappers. You know how hard it is? You know, people... First of all, sing. Thank, thank you. Y'all, like, people don't realize how hard it is to sing and thank, sing on key. Thank you, Mike City. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, it's just not being funny. Thank you. Because <clears throat> what I be trying to tell Jay is he continues to hate on... On your bars? On the, ori on the, on the original... <laughs> You know, on my origin as MC Hurricane, you know what I'm saying? He hates on that, and I tell him because I was able to rap so good, you know, the way you I can rap, translate it. I can translate it into R and B, and then I'm able to get my rap off sometimes. I got you know a funny story for y'all, though. I'm tired Look, of this, Grandma. I got a funny story for y'all. I got a, I got a funny. Listen, I got a funny story for y'all, and I know it's taboo. People's taboo to talk about it, but we ain't did nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> I got a real funny story okay. for y'all. It's got? taboo to talk about it, but we ain't did nothing. Now, back in the day, my man was on Jive Records. He took me to a concert he did out in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He was on Jive Records, so Rob was on the show with him, right? Mm -hmm. Rob rents, you know, he runs out of gym wherever he goes. Gotta go who? Sure. Gotta go who? Gotta go who? I end up on Rob team. Can you who? <laughs> Not like you. I ain't dunk. I fuck, you know. I, not, not no more. I'm, I don't want to. I'm talking about then. Could you? Yeah, I could play a little bit. Okay. Not a no, not a no extra level. I'm you know trying what I'm to look at you. Just, just, you know. See the hook. <laughs> Mike City. Try to see the hook. La da 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 Okay. What's wrong with but you? da 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 I call Tom out. <laughs> this is a true story. I don't call Tom out in open <clears throat> run, bro. I call Tom out. Okay, I'll just call Tom I, out. I said, I said, my man. Because I think he's still with the group, with the, the, the headlight, the flat. I oh, think he's, he's still, still in public it's back, announcement. It's back then, like 93, 94. Oh, I don't know, right? Vibe. Vibe. Yeah, that, that, that era, right? I said, yo, you got to pass the ball, dog. 
I said, I promise you the next time <laughs> I will take this ball, you got to pass the ball. And his dudes just start laughing. And from then on out, we had a cool game. Because I, I just watched him come down like 10 times in a row. Absolutely. 10 shots. And jack that yeah, thing. Yeah, I jack. said, oh, y'all be down a man if this keeps up. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I ain't come here for this. You know what I mean? <laughs> First, I call timeout. <laughs> I call timeout. Listen, I had a. I won't go into my kill. Y'all know I'm not. Y'all know he get. I won't go into my kill story because <laughs> right. his my man his kill story is, is, is really really awesome. But I had a moment like that. But, but, I was I wasn't right, right. So I'm playing in this celebrity basketball game, the ticket celebrity basketball game out in D.C., and it's it's Ty Lawson, it's Vince Carter. <laughs> yeah. It's Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. It's okay. and it continues. You know what I'm saying? Oh man! And, tank. and, and, and tank. me and I'm and, 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 and Wale and Wale 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 Wale, Wale, okay, Wale, okay. Wale, Wale is there. Um, uh, what's the high flyer from the Nets? My guy, Ken uh, Kenya Martin. Kenya Martin. I do He's remember taking a dunk though. I remember we no, 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 shit. I do remember. So, that. <clears throat> so I'm on Kevin Durant's team. Shout out to KD and. About seven times up the floor. Easy. Easy. Soon as he steps past half court. He's letting it go? What? Letting it what? fly. What? Now, mind you. Even He's early the, in the league then, too. Yeah. He's OKC. Okay, yeah. Early okay. Even early. early. Maybe second year in the league. A few they of those know what times. He is. James Harden's still in college, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. I'm really <clears throat> fast. So, at so least was, a, a, yeah, he was four in front. of those times... On his step across half court, you were let it fly. Open. I'm clearly open. Yeah. Lay up open. Lay up why lay up open? Not like even got to pull up for a jumper. Lay oh, up open. Kevin, 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 and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, KD. He like, he like, he like, what's happening? Like, uh, and I'm like, look, man, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing. Do do your thing, baby. I'm with you. <laughs> and I had to. It took me a second to realize yeah, that that's Kevin Durant. I'm about to tell Kevin Durant, hey man, pass me the ball. Yeah, that's a that's a sick. And dude move. is six that's thirteen. A, no, 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 that's He's a like sick ass. Hey, they, they ain't six. They six thirteen. City, right. that's a sick ass statement. I'm about to tell Kevin. Kevin, hey Kevin, can you pass? I'm me the open. Ball? <laughs> I'm open. Can, can I, I live a little pass bit? Pass the singing nigga the ball real quick. <laughs> can I live a little bit? <laughs> it's hoes out here. <laughs> I'm trying to live. I'm Jane trying to. Here. I'm, I'm trying to impress people. Everybody here. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me. Nigga, we was in the stands <laughs> crying. Because imagine you there with your guys, and we're watching the game from that standpoint of like, nigga, that's Kevin Durant, bro. Right. Like, but we're on the sideline. Because even early, you knew at Texas what he was doing. Oh, you know bro, this is Kevin, Kevin Durant. He's a Kevin killer. Durant. But we're watching his frustration oh my God. from the sideline. Oh, my God. So we're laughing. Like never be like we're falling out out of our chairs because we're he, watching him do all even, of that, he, and we're like, he's not about to pass, bro, the ball. Like, why does Tank keep putting his hand up? It's just, not the ball's not coming his way. I just felt like he should share. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all. It's a celebrity. Katie game. had like sixty five, bro. Yeah, like sixty five points. But Katie is always. Can I? Can Tank get fifteen? Can, can I get five? Can I get five? You want to tell the illest part though? <sighs> so. Wait a minute. Oh my God. This is even no, better. So, this card. I'm, I'm a team player. This guy tank is crazy, man. I'm a team player. So, <laughs> you know, this is for the kids. I'm from pr trying to preface all this Never so you nigga understand throw why kids I did in what it. I did. There Never nigga throw kids yeah, in it. You know what he's trying to go. Yeah, he, <laughs> the water's a little muddy. Yeah, yeah he he like, like, mm. who's just there for the kids? Was, so, ball comes off the rim. Vince Carter grabs the ball. I'm already back on defense. Oh, fuck, man. He's coming at me full speed. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> should what, I take this charge? Should I? <laughs> what should I do here? Because my only option. To get out the way. Is to grab him. No, it's to get out the way. No, no. It's to <laughs> grab him. 
Because I, it's for the kids. Because the I want to win. The kids wasn't I, there but I, to see you grab I wanna win. Vince Carter. I want to win. But I'm like, that's not cool. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me just close out and try to at least play a little defense. So I was like, I was like, let me get out of this paint and catch him at the three point line. Therefore, you know what I'm saying? I can, it, you know, act it, like I did. Yeah. I can I can do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can do something back there. And in, in the paint, he gonna step on me. <laughs> I run out to close out on him on the three point line. Uh, he looks at me. He throws he the ball it off the glass. No, he I'm didn't. Like, and I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> he pushes me out of the way. Like he literally pushed you. Literally, literally. Yes. throws me out of the way. Runs, jumps from damn to the free throw line, <laughs> catches the ball in the air like this, and I'm like this. Oh my god! And Bangs out. And I'm in that poster. Yeah. Proudly. <laughs> no matter what nobody says, I'm in that poster <laughs> proudly. Because I could have messed that moment up. But you didn't. But I didn't. Because oh, the that, kids. That's, Cause another, the kids. Cause, that's, another, that's another beautiful thing about going to school like in, um, in the Triangle, too. Because it's like, after I graduated, I remember I used to see... Vince, Antoine, Grant, all these, you see them at the mall, like everybody. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that Carolina Duke thing really it's, is it's real because real it's like, yeah. we're all, and we're the black houses right in the middle of them. Yeah, so everybody yeah. on our campus is trying to get at the chicks. Yeah, yeah, they come yeah. to y'all school for the women. Right? My man, they go, house, they go be house, superstar Fisher, athletes yeah. and they come to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, Jerry Stackhouse, his wife is from Central. So everybody be on our yard, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's all there together. Like my man Lavelle Moulton, he's the head coach right now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got another dude. Um, the head coach at Winston Salem, Cleo Hill, and and Robert Massey, the head football coach. So I'm like, that's him getting old. Yeah, no, we we watching the change of the guard. <laughs> yeah. That's him getting old. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Are we right. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. In terms of the state of R and B, you'll probably be the first person we ask this. Okay. Um, as as a hundred percenter who comes from those times of doing those ti those types of timeless records. What do you think, do you think it's possible to get back to um, black R&B having more of those timeless moments? You want to hear something in crazy? In R&B music. <clears throat> before this weekend, before we went to this, the song thing, I might have been like, I don't know. Dude, I heard some real talented people there who really want to uh, get- at the, at the camp. At the camp. Yeah. Yeah. Young who really yeah. want to get back to what that is, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, obviously I, I like Lucky Day. You know what I'm saying? Like he get, I mean, certain people get in. And what's the guy named? Um, is it D Mile? Is the producer? D the producer is D Mile is amazing. Yeah. I mean, Lucky Day is incredible. I mean, yeah. you're talking about monsters. They they're from. Where, like, we know what that is, yeah. right? I think there's more. I think it can get back. And I, I actually think production style don't really matter. I think it's the feeling and what you, and the vulnerability what we talked about mm -hmm. before. The vulnerability and the and the emotion and the feeling, right? A lot of these youngins don't know how to get at a chick without DMing them. We had to physically speak to girls to get at them. Yeah, in their face. Yeah. In their face. Yeah. And R and B is a conversation. R and B is a conversation. R and B is a conversation. Yeah. R and B is a conversation. Mm -hmm. But there was also in our genre of music, there was a. Um, a learning experience, meaning there used to be, there used to be ARs who would send you to a city, yeah, to go grow up, to go learn, mm -hmm. to go be around certain things. I mean, we, we go back to yeah. we go back to Chris Brown was in New York. He was in first. He was he was staying in Jersey, but he was going to Harlem and he was going. You well, know, and he'll tell you those stories. I was on Chris then, Brown first first album to the yes. last day. They took my song off. The last day, mm -hmm. like got, got paid for it and everything. It looked just to me, so I, I know what you're saying. A, like, a kid like Usher, <clears throat> yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. People will will connect him to Atlanta, but this guy's from Chattanooga. Yeah. yeah, but somebody had to make a decision, and they dropped him off. That of town. He needed to go to Atlanta, and for, before that, yeah. he had to go, to, go to New, New York, York. with Puff. Yeah. So R and B is something that is nurtured and something that 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 is developed. I feel like underdeveloped R and B is what's hurting us, and this is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but I gotta think. All right, how can I say this? I, I before, you think on your answer. I agree one hundred percent with that though, because 
Because when you're when you're trying to convey a feeling, you know what I'm saying, as you speak into vulnerability right, and all right. these things, right? You have to know what that is. Right. Living right? it you would can, help. You can, living you, it would oh, help. Oh no, Definitely. living it is yeah, living yeah. it is the difference. Yeah, yeah. Right? When I coming from church. Yeah. They say you gotta to know that you know that you know. But that's what I was about to mm. touch on though, right? A lot of these kids didn't get that evil eye in church. Like, see, back in the day in church. Boy, that no, take your time. That well, take them, your time. Arms yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, take your time. Like, when you in church, somebody there could go too, right? And you got to be right or you're not singing lead, buddy. Like, you, no, nah, give, give and John John. Unless, like. unless your, your grandmother. Yeah, well, unless that. But then they looking at everybody what sideways, what though. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute, wow. <laughs> I was just thinking, I've been connecting things. Like, I was in fifth grade. Like, like, you forced your hand. <laughs> but, I, but, I'm you saying, though, but I'm saying, ahead, though, so, so, those, so those lessons back then, those lessons back then translated like, Wanye got the commission lessons. And, yeah. he, and he translated that to yeah. boys Stockman. and men. Oh, and yeah. strong them, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So they, they got the lessons. You know... Um, Little Cedric, they got the lessons, right. yeah. man. Yeah. Like even groups that pe profile people don't even talk. talk. Like it's okay. people yeah, like, we do. But it, you know, if, know what I'm but saying? If, like, okay, if Jodeci, excuse me, if Jodeci doesn't go to New York, that sound is different. Maybe, but now no, they ain't not, got, but no, not maybe. They, they got to go to New York now. Now, no, but no, they no, no. should. No, no, but they because but, they sh they need to experience meeting a young Sean Combs, and they need to experience meeting an I'll be sure. sure. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying that to, we're missing. To turn yeah, now, to, speaking of royalty, this this Brian Alexander. I don't need I, <laughs> B Alexander, super royalty, Brian, super super royalty. I'm gonna hit, hit him back. Yeah, no, but, but um, it's but they it, but do it's a, though. But for R and B, it's the combination of all of that. So right, if you as 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 me coming from a church as a church singer, like I needed that tour. Yeah. With genuine. And you got Aaliyah, season. yeah. I I needed yeah. that. I needed to then go live in New York for a few months. I then needed to go yes. live in Atlanta for a few months. It's funny you said it. Experience Carl tour with people first. I think and yeah. Dave did too. Like mm -hmm. it's, they they went through they went through. They the, was in Black Street. Yeah. What well, the whole thing is, if the labels want to do it right, call us, bro. I got. I mean, like a few years ago, I told an executive that I identified they had a dope young artist. I liked him. I met him. He was cool. I said, hey, man, send him out here with us for like six months. Just send him for six months. Mm -hmm. I don't know who got in the way, but somebody might have gotten away. But we those started, type of things have to happen for us to really get to where we're going in this R&B space, city. Like, they we, got, we, we, we have to have people who have done it, who live it, who understand it. They were pass on that lineage. Yeah. Come on, man. But, yeah. we, we said it earlier. We've we know we know no one who's lost following commission blueprint, mm -hmm. and it's just not them. It's just that whole way of just a just a different way of thinking about the homie. Oh, it could go this way. It's really about trying to impress yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You trying to impress, but impress yourself. Mm. If you got the gift, impress yourself. Yeah, mm. that's a bar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, impress your like. When I did Carl, I was like, people gonna hear this. So I wanted to be fly. Yeah. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be fly and everything. Like people gonna it hear wasn't, this. It wasn't, it wasn't just a content play. Yeah, it's not a content play. It wasn't just let play. me get this done. I it didn't was... know Carl wasn't even guaranteed to come out when I did the record. Yeah. I think he wasn't right. even guaranteed to come out. Back in the day, think about how many dope artists were signed, didn't even come they out. They never saw a lot of dope. Sure. Because a lot of dope a lot artists didn't, was, a lot of dope didn't come out. Were signed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like in, in, do it. Impress your crew. Impress yourself. Like it, it ain't all about the, the shooting a picture, or, um, Instagram or whatever it is. Uh, man, get fly with the music, man. Yeah. Like because it's like, we did. I wish in two thousand, it did in ninety nine two thousand. It still feel like it did then. Right now, to me, right now. Listen, I tell you what. I tell like you what. That. You 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 want to hear your you want to hear your music loud and in a club packed from wall to wall. You go on down to that headliner doo wop. In Miami, and you will hear mm. every one of your records, every one of them. It's a blessing in man. real time. I've been in yeah. London before they playing. Heard her before they don't even know I'm in the club. It's young girls singing 
I'm like, the, they got it from their mom. The moms right, right. pass it down to them. But I, I think it can happen again, but they got to be willing. They got to be willing to be vulnerable. They got to be willing to bring the pain back. And if you need R, if you need auto tunes, you're not an R&B singer. If you need it, you're not an R&B singer. Not if a, you need if you it. Need. Can you look at the camera? Can you look, look at the camera? Look at the camera. If you need auto tune, you're not a soul singer or R&B singer. Hmm. You're an Just R&B not. artist. Artist. You're not an R&B yeah. singer. If you need if it. If you need it. Because because the great ones, they'll use the touch, but they don't need it. Like, we come from the era when we didn't even have that. We didn't even record. Yeah. We didn't even, I didn't even know what it <clears throat> was. I didn't know why people sounded like that <laughs> right. for the longest. <laughs> until I got... Up to the underdogs yeah, yeah. in 2003. Yeah. I don't even know what it was. This your no, part, Harvey. I take that back. I take that back. Is that the, what you're saying? The no, first time I saying. sang in it, through it, was with um, um, God Rest His Soul, Sean Daniels. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, but he didn't and, uh, need it, though. No, no, no. no and, absolutely um, not. And, um, but they were using it. Right. They were so, using it, yeah. <clears throat> so I go into the studio, and we went to Sony in New York. And so when I go into the booth, um, there's like, listen, you're gonna hear something following you in your ear. Right. Don't worry about it. Man, just, just sing I, along. That with same it. conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just sing that. along with it. And I didn't know what that was. And I was just singing along with it. And I was like, this is weird. weird. I don't know what yeah. this is. Because you can hit a right note and it get tricky. It's right. like, yeah. It's like, you're like, hey, like, what is, man? Because your vibrato, vibrato, I was on. Your natural vibrato <laughs> might not mesh with yeah. that I, setting. Yeah. I, well, hmm. it also is a skill. To learn to sing with, with it, it is. if you're a singer, yeah. it is right. And so I didn't, ha I didn't know what it was. But when I started listening, when I started hearing it after the fact and coming out of the booth and seeing what they're doing, I was like, Brandy, yeah, because she flanges I herself. Got it. I was like, I see how they're yep. doing. <laughs> I say, but it did, it it still didn't prompt me to want to use it. It still didn't make me say, oh, cause I was still like, nah, it was cool. I'm going to do me. I but, still felt like I needed to be raw. But it's an enhancer on my vocal. Though, you it's don't, an enhancer. It's you, not, yeah. Because when we did the record in the hour. So it's creatine, but it ain't steroids. Not, yeah. Well, hmm. he don't need that's a, that's, it, though. That's yeah. a, but, well, no, but no. you need creatine because it's, it's not. It's, it's, it's gonna but but you if your testosterone levels are low, you need testosterone. You, it's just it's a sprinkle. Okay, it's so it's not it's, it's it's not ban it's not a banned substance. It's not a banned no. <laughs> substance. Ban it's not a banned substance. Right. Okay, not a banned substance. Right. 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 You're good at this. Good. <laughs> but the, the crazy the crazy part about it is, you know who don't need it anyway. You can tell when oh, when can tell. when it happens. Yeah, when yeah, the magic tell. happens. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. Listen, yeah, I, yeah, you as, can tell. As, as we go happens. back to like a lucky day, right? Um, I had to do essence, and and he was um and he was opening. And I was I was backstage. He went he went I think he went before Carl. It was him, then Carl, right, and then me. And and I was like, I kind of heard him, but then I went back and watched. I actually watched the essence, right, the, the playback, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, he's nice. He he's nice in real life. Mm -hmm. In real, so real when life. I got to the studio with him the other night and I saw him, I said, "Yeah, you in? Come on, I need you to do X, Y, and Z." And he like, "Let's and go." As, as soon as he got in the booth, as soon as he got in the booth, it was like, "Oh, come on, that's what's missing." Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, man, and, listen, I work with jo obviously I work with JoJo when she was that young. Oof. I'm sitting there looking like this okay, guy. She's an alien. Oof. I worked with Jasmine Sullivan and I was like, this is Aretha Franklin, grand, whatever. Yeah. And the thing about, and, I, and it's crazy because- You work with Bilal. I work with Bilal and he's just, he was chewing gum the whole session we did love it. It's a monster. And then, love that record too. Then like you, he he left the session and flew to, flew to Paris. He's a monster. That's a bar. He he left yeah, the session yeah. Yeah, that's that, he lived, he did flew to different Paris. Life. He yeah, lives yeah. different. Yeah, I'm going to Paris. And Jimmy came and to And I might stay for two months. Mm. If I feel like it. <laughs> right, right. He's right, doing it exactly the way he wants, he wants to, do to do it. it. Yeah, yeah. He's true artist. Yeah, true true artist. I'm going to do yeah. what I do. Yeah. Right? Back so, when Quincy was going to to to, to France to, to learn strings, learn strings. <laughs> I'll be back years. in two years. Right, you know what I'm saying? So like, but that's the thing about it. Like, I was I was talking to um, I was working on something for TV and film a few years ago. Where they was going to do a reboot of uh, of um, New York Undercover, something like that. And um, I was in there with your little protege, Luke. I know Cold. about mm -hmm. and um Jasmine. And I was talking to Jasmine mom because I know Jasmine mom from church when I was growing up and she's my brother. So she's like, Mike, talk to Jasmine. Get her, try to get her motivated to do something. I was like, look, 
I said, Jazz, what you doing? She's like, and I think Jasmine just probably felt like she didn't know where she fit in. And she went what, through what I went through right. in don't, 2002. Don't, yeah, don't know where she fit in, sure. what's going on, everything. But I knew one thing, though. I knew RCA wasn't dropping her because she's a generational talent. They was right. going to wait for whenever that album whenever, got ready. Whenever, yeah. Because yeah. there's some people that got it and she just got something else. Right. Yeah. Like, it's just... Special. She sounded as... And when she was 14, she sounded like she do now. And like, yeah. I'm sure she's more seasoned now, but I can't really tell because nah, she had it all that day. I remember hearing her when she was 14. And you know I, what I'm saying? Somebody like, played me one of, one of her demos. And I was just like, who, who she is had that? It, she literally had it all together. Let me tell you how ill she is. From the beginning. I was in London one time. Doing, I was doing some work. I'm just walking down the hall. You got a lot of London flex on you, too. Because, you know, I be going really doing house music and different stuff. You know, I like, I ca catch a vibe, right? You city. You my city, right? Catch a vibe. So, <clears throat> I'm hearing somebody walking down the hallway from a distance. Crazy. And I'm, I, I listen, I'm like, this is a world-class singer. Because I can hear it from 50 feet away. It's Jasmine. I'm walking, I'm like, Jazz, what's good? She's like, oh, what you doing? I was like, I'm just way working. I said, she said, I'm doing a promo tour and everything. But like, this is 50, this is down the hall. I'm hearing somebody mumbling something. You, you know what it is. I'm like, whoever yeah. that is is a problem. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I know yeah. what it is. I heard some people at the songwriting camp, that's a problem. That's why I think. We got a I, shot. I, I think we got a shot. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like if they want to get the lessons, I'm here for it, but you know, if the labels want to, you know, they gotta, they gotta um, invest in pay it. for our expertise too, though. Yeah, they gotta invest in. Yeah, it. can't play around with that. I just, I just, we've lived a life. I, I pray <clears throat> that they're nurtured. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My, my own selfish love of R and B, like mm -hmm. I pray that they're nurtured. Everybody I love R and B, man. You know what I mean? The but I, I'm, some, I'm, just, I'm just saying from the, from the, just from the. It's in your blood, though. Anyway, the cultural sense of you know. What's being delivered? Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, we, it's it's some good songs out there. Um, it's some it's some good artists out there, but those generational talents need Far to be in between. What, and what, they need to be, be and they need to be nurtured because <laughs> yeah. they you know they just don't come around and you just can't just microwave them and just throw them out there. It's it's like things have to happen. Things have to be developed. Jasmine needed to be developed. Yeah. yeah. Her need to be the from Gabby, from Gabby to, that. to her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. is a development. For sure. Incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like that is, you but, know, but the Alicia other... Keys being dropped with those same, same songs. songs. Same songs. Same it had songs. To be, but it had to be developed though. But, it had, you know what I mean? Like it, it just wouldn't have hit the same way. Like it's, man, they give up on but these you things remember, so like, quick. I heard that Donnie Honor has said Alicia Keys and, and um, Schaefer, who was Neo, was mm -hmm. two, worst, two of the worst artists that he signed. He don't mean, I mean, like he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't up in the tunnel. He wasn't up in, right. in, in Kojic Church when everything was going. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, he wasn't he wasn't there when Take Six first came out traveling in the van. For sure. <laughs> you know, For going sure. around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was in I was in high school. I mean, Commission came and sang in my high school. Yeah. I was in high school. I mean, but it I'm goes saying? to the other point, the other point that I make is that we don't have we don't have any true gatekeepers in those offices. We don't. You is know it, what and I mean? is that by design? No. Think about it. When is the last time you, Mike City, super producer, 100 percenter, said, hey, I'd love to be um, head A&R, VP at your label and help you develop your R&B talent? Well, I'm saying it right on the podcast. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That camera? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Don't say start it off with y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's what's yeah. that, that's, if y'all want to get you got, it right you gotta say it like the young boys would say yeah. you know what the fuck going you know, on what the fuck going on <laughs> listen if y'all want to get it right we'll have it right and, because and, because production styles change they vary, so, yeah. it, it varies so whether you got trap aren't trap or whatever we was doing or how, whatever but that's that sound and that cohesive singing and everything yeah. A, few, a few of us really know what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, hire but, someone with, with some understanding. Yeah. A few of us yeah. need to do the work. We've already put in the work. We have the information. We have to get in position for our work to work for us. That's the truth. And to help build the genre back to glory. That's, That's the, the only way because, it's going to work. Because you're right, because... Not that it's, not that it's necessary, but I'm, most A and R's can't jump in no harmony with us. 
they, mm. they they don't know it. They just. I mean, I actually think it is necessary. I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to I'm do going to fight you to, on to that. get it back right. I'm gonna fight you, you might, on you that. You gotta get it back because right. Because at, at, because okay. at Motown, fight them. Talk the talk. Every every person in there, they did something. Talk, could talk. write, could yeah. sing, yeah. could play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, up and t- up into the founder, who was a songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. The A and R, who was Smokey Robinson. Smokey. Like he, at some point, somebody got to be up there with some understanding. Get, listen. If, Someone if has to be singing, a lot of people got to have come understanding. Singing, somebody should be able to harmonize with Tank. Yeah. I at least need to, ooh, yeah. It, we got to have something. It shouldn't be a whole label trying to do R&B with no R&B singers, songwriters, and producers involved. It can't be. It can't be. I Listen, I'm with, I'm with you because on the Because you got to touch down. I'm, you got to touch down with the people and everything. And that's honestly why, as a producer, all those are... I mean, when I work with you, you know... Layla and them, they my because they, they know they yeah. I get them. They yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, um me and music song never came out, but when I first met music, music was like, dude, you need to do an album. The first thing he said was like, why don't you do an album? I was like, cause I gave all my songs away. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, right. I, I mean, yeah. this is my calling right now to do yeah. what I'm doing. But it's like somebody gotta be able to understand that, or or the real gifted artist gonna look at the beat maker producer like, uh, go ahead with that. Because you gotta have some type of Understanding and, and to take it to the top level, I've seen in my own two eyes. If I go peep my head on a Dre, well, I made a post about it with me, him, and Bluetooth before I like this new group because I know he under, he can sing something. He sing better than people probably know. Right. He not know, but he understands where the oh, notes he, and okay, things fall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a reason why he's been able to do. What well, he might be shy about it. He's never going to release a singing record, but he knows more about notes than people think. And he'll sit down and play at the piano. You be like. Oh, you've been practicing, huh? You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Oh, no, he'll tell you how to hit the note, though. Yeah, like... No, no, don't hit it like that. Right. No, no, no. You, know, you, you know, need you to... Was, exactly. So it's like, you know, where's that in the labels? Yeah. Now, I mean, listen... Because honestly, I wasn't seeing that when I was doing it. No. Run. No. No. I, and I wasn't I've, that. I've been that... I've When I was on the artist you know, yeah, side... You, yeah, but you where, had where, a chance to do it. Yeah, then. but I've, right. been a, I've, been a, I've been that artist that has asked an A&R. You ever wrote a song before? Not even being like you when we're literally know, having a no, you but not know no, what it no, is. But no, but I'm talking about when it get when it get dirty, right? Yeah. Like, like, we yeah. we having a conversation about this song ain't it, right? Mm. And I'm like, you wrote what you wrote? What's your have, you, have you written one before? Have you written anything <laughs> right. before? Because you, you need to do know. you have a placement, right? Because I need oh, to know you know, where I, you. you know what you know. No, I'm just I'm just asking because you're telling me. Did you break dance? Did you DJ? Like what did, did you, you do, do? Something in this industry. Hmm. That was creative, and now y'all see why I do more music for TV and film these days. Yeah, because but but I'm I'm get out you, your way and let but, you do what you do. But but I'm gonna tell you this though. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're selfish, but what He's I'm saying, saying is selfish. that what I'm saying is that you have the gift. Yes. Yes. And the information. Yeah. Give it. And, and the relationships. I, yeah. And, hold on. I'm not. And the relationships. And they're tucked away. Hiding in your vault, and while we're screaming for more heads and more executives and more people with that information to be in charge of that musical space to help us get us get it get it back, you're somewhere doing TV and fi- enjoying yourself, enjoying your, doing your TV and film, feeding your family. I get it. I get Beautiful it. Beautiful family, man. You know, I didn't run into y'all at the, yeah. at, the, at the fair. The fair. At the, you know what I mean? I, I, yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. No, we saw, the kids we saw are awesome, man. The wife yeah. is amazing. We saw taking the trampoline. <laughs> yeah. With the trampoline. I, and, and, listen, whatever. I respect it. But R&B's greatness and glory is tied in to the people. Who do it. Who do it. Yeah. And who've done it. Mm-hmm. And who have done it on a level. You are, you are necessary in... That space, but you said, I'm just but you, it in but your, you said something on, on the on the drink chance that's profound though. Are they afraid of our love? That's profound though, because top down, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, not being funny, like you said, just to, just the to relationships, like you know, of just the people I can just get to. Mm. Yeah, and what I do and what I know how to do, you would think. They would be like, you know what? He can help us get right if we want to sp- spend in that. They don't. 
They want to dumb down. I feel like I I think they are afraid of our love. Mm-hmm. We're not. We're not. Right. So ultimately, there's something that Tank and I have been been talking about behind closed doors about what we see and what and what I believe is that we should all be doing this. Mm. We all need to become partners with each other in some form or fashion. Mm -hmm. We need to become partners with the artists. We need to become partners with the writers. We need to become partners. It's these things, we need to create a strength in numbers where it's like, hey man, I'm not trying to take from you. I'm trying to collaborate with you. And build. And build with yeah. you. And we split profits. Yep. We figure it out. Like, hey, hey, new artist, I'm an established such and such, such and such, so I'm going to give that to you and add to the pop for you, but okay, this is my percentage of it. Right. And let's do projects together. Yep. And anything. And I don't need to out. own yeah, you. Yeah. Anything can be worked out. Yeah. I need to own yeah. my own IP. Right. But then we don't have to. But then we don't have to. We can. We can do good business. We can be economical with it. Because, yes. Right. Because. Yeah, because because unified, artist, but now it's a vested because, interest. Yeah, exactly. Because, because an artist can now eat yeah. off of, off of, off of their project. No yeah. Even if it doesn't sell. Two, three hundred thousand. If it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go good, yeah. it doesn't need yeah. to. Right sink and right. pop it out of here. And so yeah. that's gonna yeah. that's gonna make more people do it. Once they see like the 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 company's called R and B money for a reason. Right. Yeah. We'll put it in your face. We make money doing R and B music. Yeah. If you would like to make money doing R and B music, come to R and B money. And before I forget, I didn't realize that you named Club Quarantine. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey man, D, D nice I told him this before. His pivot. D Nice amazing. shot the Ooh. album cover when, when me and Carl did um independent album too. He shot the album wow. cover. Wow. Wow. He was the photographer. He was for the it. photographer. Wow. That's crazy. Like just the way yeah, you know, yeah, his yeah. whole like Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, he talked and about he's, he's one of our and, biggest and, and, advocates and, and to heroes see him, in the space. To, yeah. to see this. He put R and B. But he put R and B in. He put R he made R and B in front international of the world. again. He put it in front of the world. And then put out an R&B record with him and Neo. That was great. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then an another pivot. Remember Jason was a and R in that DreamWorks? Yeah. Jason Joshua. Jason Joshua. Jason Joshua. Remember? Godfire. Do, do I know? Listen, remember? I'm going to say, Godfire. When I, was, I think I was there the day he got fired. It was not good. It was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was not good. No, it was, it, listen. It was like it's the walkout. It was never good. It, no, it was the walkout, though. It was a lot that went on up yeah. there. A lot of guys <laughs> who've been walked out. It wasn't good. Became something great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I ever get a job, I yeah. want to be walked out because I know something great so coming. That, yeah, me and my box. Yeah, you know that. I think that's what I've seen on. I've seen that in movies where you but like no. get all your shit you and your just put it in a box. Always, you know, and it's a tree hanging out of it. Because you know, you know, you know, because Gerald, had, Gerald was gone by then. So you know, Gerald was I got. He was my mm -hmm. guy too, right? So Gerald was gone by then, mm -hmm. and to see him, I think he was. I think he went to MTV after that, and the next thing you know. I used to see him under Dave Pensada, you know, the Dave, getting the right. lessons, getting the lessons, yep. and getting the lessons. And now he's Jason. Jones. He didn't know song structure. He, did, he was just. He was an A and R that didn't know song structure. Yeah, yeah. he's probably one of those guys I would have cussed out earlier. Yeah, on. absolutely. Like, but <laughs> but he, was, he recognized hey man, greatness. He was such an right. awesome guy. Yeah, and he recognized. Let them <laughs> do what they do. You just right. roll with him. Like, yeah. you know right. what? This he is knew my what guy he didn't right know. Yeah, and yeah. he said, yeah, "I'm gonna let them do what they do." He's like, "Tank, just, just, just do what just you do. Just do what you fucking do, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> do what you do. You know what it is. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. Just do right. It. So to see that, and then when I saw when he had. When he got that Rihanna thing that went crazy, and it's been yeah. he's, no, ever it's, since it's, then. Yeah. It's, it's lit. So I'm just saying, like, people pivots, like, you know, you can do different things. It's like you said in 2002, because I remember that. He was like, I don't even know if I want to do this no more. Because you're like, I don't, what is it? What am I doing then? You don't know yeah. if you want to do it. Yeah. You refine, you, some, you know what I'm saying? So it's like with me, I was like, oh, I'm not going to chase these records and everything, you know, send me my royalties. You know, do it, do it, you know, let me do what I do. Then I found, oh, I could do this. All right, cool. I can still have fun. Because I got to have fun doing what I'm doing every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, peace of mind, there's no price to it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to be, um, everything that's going on right now, I don't even want to be around a lot of energy like that. I didn't want to be around it then. You know, I've been in some sticky situations before, but it's like, man, we just left the studio and then that happened? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's just I'm claiming the pivot of you back in charge of some R&B space in some way, shape, or form. Let's go. 
I'm claiming that. You definitely need the soul. And you, you know, Come you, on, you stand in front of the I soul. I got a question too, though. And it's, and it's, is there a difference between R and B and soul, or is it just to get together? I think I think the lines are very blurred, and you know the difference. I think between it's hip hop and rap to me. Hmm? I think it's the difference between hip hop and rap music is R and B and soul to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me. I can, I like I, 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 because it seems like they walk soul, in the same thing. Soul, soul is a little more pure. It's more the purest deal with the soul. The same way in for rap, hip hop is more is pure. It's, it's, it's more pure yeah. than rap. Like R and B can 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 be auto tuned up. You can't auto tune soul. Yeah. You can't auto tune soul. You can't auto tune hip hop. But you can mm-hmm. auto tune rap. Got you. Okay. Okay. Love that explanation. All right. Yeah, because I, I to me that I that's no, no, one no, question it is, I yeah. wanted to ask. Because like, a soul, a, like a soul singer. Because you can't auto tune KC. But here's the thing about Anthony it, though. Hamilton. Anthony Hamilton. But, Fantasia. but here's the, here's the Fantasia. thing about it though. Soul singer. Tank could be a soul singer or R&B. It just depends on what but, you want to be but, at but that. But that's the development of my gift. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, like, right, just to, it just right. depends but on if, what you but, want to do that but day. me, But me me being- Lil Wayne can be a rapper or, or a hip-hop artist. Yeah, he can. Right. And so it's just about the mm. development of a gift. I had to learn the space. Jay-Z. Okay. Same I was thing, a soul yeah. singer first. Right. And then I learned how to be R&B. R&B. Okay. I learned that. You know what I'm saying? Which is a hell of a learning curve coming from but a soul I, Yeah, space. I know what you're saying, though. Because it's like, you're right. Like, like, like. Fantasia, she gonna have some Holy Ghost in her singing. It's no just what, what it is. She, no she taking what. her shoes off. Yeah, second that's just, song. that's what that is, man. Yeah. Like, and she can't help she it. She can't help herself. That's what she is. And 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 and, and Anthony is high in Southern soul. No, not complete Southern high, soul. But I'm saying, like, you know, like, there's a Southern soul movement going on. I, I I actually am working my man AG. We doing a Southern some Southern soul stuff. He getting shows and everything, and it's like that's my guy. Like, like you gotta you gotta remember, there's there's a guy. Uh, uh, what's what's Calvin's last name? Calvin Richard. Richard. Been there's, guy, years. there's a Southern kid named soul. Calvin Richard. Calvin Richard. Shoot. I'm just gonna call him a kid. A a a, a, a man boy. My name is Calvin Richard. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does. He lived there. He down there doing it as we speak. Two shows a week. Doing it. No question. Yeah. And I'm about to get my man AG on that circuit. Like straight. You know, like like AG. That's my guy. Like out of our whole thing, he had a deal first. He was signed to Capital in '95. Wow. That's when I came out here mm. with him. In 99, 2000, he was signed to Rough Rider. That's why I went to New York messing with him. Right. Now, he was on platinum um, compilation, gold compilation, but he never got his due. Now he's doing Southern Soul. He's getting booked all over. Going crazy. Yeah. So Going I'm crazy. like, I'm okay, not, I got to support listen, I've been, you. I've been on them shows. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know those And people. you know, but see, know. You, got to, you know when to turn that on, though. Yep. You, you, it's, there's yeah. a, there's I can a, see the crowd and be right. like, oh, y'all, want, okay, I see what y'all here for. Them, yeah. them women here still for. put money in their bras. You better believe it. <laughs> You better believe it. You know it, what I mean? And we'll offer you some of it. <laughs> and a and a home cooked meal. They still huh? put Jay. Huh? They still put nah, money I, in their bras, baby. I've, I've been they will there. offer you a yeah, meal. Yeah. They be you trying I mean? they be you, trying to figure out what I am. You want to come to my house places. and eat something? What they, is they he? call they call Jay an old exotic nigga. Where <laughs> oh you get this old god. exotic nigga oh from? Oh my god. So you know what I'm saying, but you're right. Calvin basically been doing C-I-A-A. that. Double <laughs> you know what I mean? Back C-I-A-A. <laughs> she can back down. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? So no. Nah, so Calvin's been de- basically doing this since more than a woman. Yeah. 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 Getting those things, but it's a whole movement going on. Mm-hmm. But I say Anthony is high in Southern Soul mm-hmm. because he had the chance to have the backing of the label and everything. Yeah, for sure. But the way he did it. Shout out to Jermaine Dupri. Shout yeah, out, yeah. I mean, because but, Anthony was with us. As Soul Life, Soul Life disbanded. I got Anthony with um Nappy Roots. Wow. Oh wow. Oh, I forgot you did Nappy yeah, Roots. Yeah, I got you man, did do Nappy Roots. I got because the song that I did with Anthony Discography. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Nah, you know, Anthony, so we many. all family, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when Sunshine had her album coming out first, I said, I gotta get Anthony on this album, because that's Anthony Hamilton. So I put him on the song with Sunshine and my man Dolo Pacino, and I was working with Nappy Roots. I said, yo, we got to get Anthony over here to do this. So the song that I did with Anthony actually didn't come to the second album, but he ended up doing another song um, the, on the first album that went crazy. With I, I don't know who I don't know if um, Jazzy or who did it, but you know it's, it's all our relationships yeah. coming yeah. together because that's what we supposed to and do. Not, and 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 exactly and not I like asked, that's what we supposed not lock on some hold on to or let me charge you for this. That's or my I need man. this for that. No, like, that's my we're a community, yeah. right? You should do. I need you over here for that. You should do that. Yeah. Like, and then the vice versa. We 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 build it by 
dropping the ego. And you and because and, because and, now like you gotta like by you doing your tours, you're feeding families. Yeah. Anthony's feeding families. You know what I'm saying? Like you know people. This this is this is. This R and B stuff, if you do it right, it's you gotta can, be a collective. Yeah, yeah. You feed families. It's gotta be a collective. It, it definitely, we gotta, be gotta a get mm. back to us. We gotta get back to five and six R and B acts on the road as a tour. A review, like, a, a review, review. Yeah. Yeah. review. The Motown review, the Motown yeah. review. Like we gotta get back to that. And I say that, you know, not only to myself but to all high level R and B artists. Like if we're R and B, let's do R and B. Let's and you know what. And don't be ashamed or afraid to do it. Do let's it. Do our and let's put it in these big venues. Do it. And let's because see what you happens. know what? People want to feel good, man. They're People, tired of getting shot at. They shot that, that energy is let's get that energy. They want to they feel are good. Tired. And I posted something on my IG yesterday. Um, like uh shout out to Melvin Ryan. I mean, like, ready for the world. When we came Melvin up, Ryan. man, we had slow jam tapes, man. Like, if you didn't have the right slow jam tape. Chicks was looking at you sideways like Man, you was getting the relaxing. last hour and a half <laughs> yeah. at any party was, was a slow, slow song. No question. Yeah. It was time for you to work your wiggle, work your magic talk. And these dudes today talk. don't know what that is because they'll get a charge it because they don't know like, no, nah, you got to finesse Man, you that. Gotta finesse it. <laughs> yeah. You got to finesse it. You got to talk to her you nice. Got, right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we can get back to that, I think we can. I think you know what I'm saying, like because these 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 kids got the lessons from their parents. Now you always gonna have, but, but what? It, but they don't. They don't. So we we have to become, like I said, Shepherds, the teachers like and the help. leaders. <laughs> and our our word is a different word. It's respected differently because we we've done it. We've done it. Yeah, they look at it different. They look at it different. You understand what I'm saying? They'll and that's how we rebuild it. That's how we rebuild. We have to be. We can't be disconnected from the next generation of R and B superstars. Man, listen. The other day when I found when I when I heard this girl that was going crazy, my man runs publishing. Or I met. I called him there. Sean Brown was there. Mm. I, I said, "You have more time." He said, "Yeah." I said, "You need to sign her next week." Yeah. I said, "Not like like this. Not nothing you should play." I'm telling you, what this is. Yeah. Don't play with this. Yeah. Like I. I don't get excited about stuff like I'm telling you what this is, bro. You need to sign her next week, and and let me we we get it together. But she want to do with the real thing, you know what I'm saying? And and she's so and the girl that I was working with, she's so talented. She don't even know how dope she is. I don't even know, just natural. She she don't even know because go. she hasn't. But but it's like I'm down for all that and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just like how you've always maintained and nurtured the relationship. With, with Chris, because he respect that when you, when he came up, you, he he had to go see y'all. He, that he felt that pressure from you and Eric. Mm -hmm. hey, that's pressure. Singer go see the underdogs and Eric Dawkins and Tank. That's pressure, baby. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Like I hear this demo. That sound like a real radio radio record that should be out right now. That's pressure. So you know what I'm saying like a lot of these kids can't handle pressure though. It, that's the, the other thing we're dealing with too. They're caught up. Well, we're I, and we very, don't come from everybody get a trophy. We've, we've diagnosed everything. Everything's ne everything needs help and medication. I listen. I went through a lot as a kid. I didn't get no medication. I didn't get no help. Get back up. <laughs> Put some dirt on. And I got. Keep it going. I got my yeah. ass whooped and, and, and some punishment. Yeah, you better it, shape up yeah. And, and, yeah. and figure it out. Yep. Yeah. And get it together. I, we, I got listen, the same I'm, type I, of love, I'm, man. And I'm not saying it was. It, it was I'm not, not saying it was right. But it happened. But it happened. Same here. And you're still here. And I'm a monster. For, and uh, listen, I am still here. I would. I wouldn't have had my mom and my dad and my grandmother, my great grandmother, my auntie Betty. I wouldn't have them raise me any different. It was. It was. Any it was different. a tough. You know what I'm saying? It was a man. Like you gonna laugh? Like, like my parents bought me equipment, but I remember, and when I was a freshman in high school, I couldn't try out for basketball team. You know why? I had to go to prayer meeting. Come on, man. Come and on, I've man. never said that publicly. Come on, man. I've never said that publicly. I had to go to prayer. My, I had to be revival. It was a revival. I had. I couldn't talk try for basketball because I had to go to revival with my parents. Talk that revival talk. Five nights a week. I had. It, it wasn't no not going either. Mm -mm. I had to go. You're punching your eye. But in turn. In the name of the Holy me, Ghost. Listen, in turn, <laughs> in turn. 
<laughs> bought me equipment. You know, he bought me keyboard and stuff, and he helped me nurture my. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I like what you was really supposed to be doing. Right. So I was like, yeah. I had to. Yeah. I wasn't going to college playing ball anyway. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So R. Kelly wasn't passing. He, he was like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, you I can mean, go bro. to the. And that's what th speak about that. When I when I speak to these young artists coming in, I tell them straight up. I was like, yo, this is the league. What we dealing with is the, oh, league. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. league. Yeah, it's the league. Pros. It's the pros. It's the pros. You gonna sit on that bench or you gonna get in the game? It's the what, league. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I was I was doing a record with Kelly Price one time. I walked the girl out to a car. I came back. Chief's halfway done the record. Like literally, just you know, she had price. started. I like, see, I'm gonna go in here and mess around with something at the record plant. I go out to what is it? I, I, I walk somebody out to the car. <clears throat> I'll never forget it. I walk somebody out to the car. I think I'm out there talking to Genuine and Nokia. We out there, you know, chopping wow. it up. Yeah. <laughs> I get back to my session. Kelly got a song popping going. I was, and she hit a low note. I checked her throat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, you, you hit that note. But I'm saying these is these Pros. are beasts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These are professional yeah. snipers mm -hmm. that we're dealing with. And if you want to play in the league and be and get that respect, you gotta be a sniper. Develop your gift. You gotta de you gotta develop it because these people have been, you know, they've gone through the ringer. Yeah. And it's like, it's a whole nother thing we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like Carl waited a long time to get that shot. Yeah. And he wasn't gonna blow it. He definitely didn't blow it. <laughs> he didn't blow it, you know what I'm saying? Did not. He so, you know. All right. So <clears throat> listen, City. Okay. The R&B Money Podcast. I appreciate y'all having we, me. It's we fun. like to talk about R&B. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Which, amen. Um, I want to get some information from you. Okay. <clears throat> I want to know your top five R&B artists, male or female. All time. All time. Woo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get tricky. Donnie and Stevie got to be on there. One, two. two. One, two. Whew. Came out early. I mean, can you really deny Aretha? You cannot. No. Three. I mean. You three. better not. Three. Can you? You she better did. not. She on the list. I mean, every, I mean. You better not. Okay. If I come with that. Sam Cooke? Whew. Jesus Christ. Ooh. I mean. I, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Sam Cooke. He did. He. Brandy. Hey, your list is cold. Yeah, I gotta give it to Stevie Donnie. Because she 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 Cook raised a the whole Rita generation of singers. Now I could I could say Whitney, but Brandy took what we do. It's almost like she did like Commission did the whinings. Mm -hmm. Right. Because since Brandy did I want to be down, I knew I wanted to work with her. Yeah. I didn't know how it was gonna happen. Yeah. I knew I wanted to work with her. She though. had to have it. I, had, I didn't have no plan. I didn't know yeah. what it was. I was like, but that's what she's doing. I didn't even know how, I didn't even know she was the girl from Thea. Right. I, I had no idea. Right. Right. I just knew something magical about her voice. And you know, it's like, damn, and Layla is crazy too. I, it's, and these people are my friends, man. Like I got, I it's got tough. just. Layla's tough because she's, she's but gifted I said her daddy, and so she's I, studied. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like she has all of it. Yeah. She's like, and the stuff that she can do with her voice, I've never heard any human do. Yeah, like. Do. I, like, only, she can harmonize with herself. She, yeah, she can. Like, that's. And the only reason why I just didn't say her. Because you picked her dad. Because I picked said her dad. Her dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, like, you know, yeah. she's got, but, like, uh, like people, like, not not being funny, like, not, like, and I love Monica music, but she wasn't Brandy. Brandy is like, Monica was great. Brandy was she was the bar that was set. Like people tried to emulate Brandy. I think Brandy was just more of a vocal blueprint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mon yeah. Monica was more soulful, so that's that soul R and B thing for again, sure. Right? Monica For sure. Monica had that grit. Monica and felt I like Monica that grit sang with everything she had. She listen, the white shoes. Not saying she said, sings. She, she with came about the white shoes, and she was yeah. Never meant to. You know what I'm saying? And we and felt Brand, that Brandy was 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 more technical. She just she was just a technician. technician. More the sniper. The sni she's the sniper. Yeah. So that's why the boys mind really worked so well. Anyway, it because was it was just the opposite yeah, of tracking really them. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'll never I'll never sleep. I mean, Monica had bangers, bangers, yeah. bangers. It's just like, and the thing with Layla is, she didn't per se have those bangers, but everybody that knew 
yeah, knew what yeah. it was. If you knew singing, you, you knew what that is. Like yeah. you don't. You know what that is. Like you don't have to. Okay, baby, you didn't go platinum, but we come at that concert. Period. Right. Yeah, she yeah. go to London, no, DC. It's an it's experience. So it's an oh, experience. you better believe it. Yeah. It's an experience. You better believe it. Okay, like, hold on. We're not done. Top five R and B songs. Wow. Top five R and B songs. Yeah. Donny Hathaway, a song for you. I just can't escape that pain. Yeah, I just I can't escape that pain. <clears throat> um, Staple Singers, let's do it again. You said the Staple Singers, let's do it again. Maybe it's ill. It's a great song. Wow. I mean, like, I, wow. I mean, song. like, that's a great song. I mean, it's never going away. Right. <laughs> and that's not something that just somebody just no. Just you got to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be versed. Could you go wrong with Let's Get On? No. I mean, no. I mean, mean, like, no. Just for what it is, I mean. The first win we. <laughs> I mean, you know, could you go wrong? With, let's try to find some. Um, I used to hear Earth and Fire so much when I was a kid. I thought they were from Philly. I just thought they were just coming on the radio, just. Mm. Uh, reasons? Of course. I mean, that just resonates. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to throw a curveball. I got love for the women. <clears throat> but y'all was talking about it lately. Um, I played I played this song out. John B. They don't go. They don't, um, don't listen they don't. to. Yeah. What? They, don't play, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. I played that song out. I told Tim, I was like, I mean... And Brian got some songs too, SWV. I couldn't name, I mean, but I I literally, it's hard to pick. They don't know it's a but I play, record. Amazing. I played that record. song out. Yeah. I play out. You're my angel. Nothing's going to make, gonna you, make you fall from heaven. heaven. I mean, nothing. Nothing. I don't care what Girl, you love. I just want to. Nothing's gonna make you fall from Nothing. heaven. Nothing. I'm gonna wipe the that's slate a, clean every that's time. A, that's a great lyric. Your sins have been forgiven <laughs> even before you've committed them. Yeah, yeah. To me. To me. To me. <laughs> to me. Nothing. You brand new to me. Hey, Amen. And the way that's care, a, that's the a, way the that guitar was laying in the pocket. I don't care where you've been. Because that's right around the time I was like, okay, I gotta get my production chops up, whatever Oof. I'm gonna do. Because Tim and Bob was applying pressure. Oh, major pressure. They've been pressure. They're applying pressure. Been pressure. All right. Last. Tim, hold on. Before, okay. Tim was there when I did. Tim was the first person to tell me Full Moon was going to be his. He walked into the studio when I was, and he was like. And he don't get hype over much. <laughs> he, was, he was like, you know how he is? Yo. He's like. Yo. He, he, he's like. Yo. He was like. He was like. He, was like, he go crazy. That. Because I had it going hard. He was like, he said, and you know, Brandy's like, he said, oh my God. Yeah, that right. But those was a fun time. I'd be in the studio, Tim be here, Pharrell be in the other. We're just a community. Everybody just yeah. having fun. I remember, um, what's her name from um, No Doubt used to be around, um, what's her name? The, the, um, the lead singer? Yeah. Uh, is it Gwen Stefani? Gwen Stefani. Everybody used to be yeah. coming in. You know uh, man, yeah, that was the, that was the days <laughs> was back fun, in the man. day. Like, yeah. I used to be rehearsing with all of them. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Okay. Uh, I need, I, we, need, we need to build a Voltron. Okay. I want to know who you're going to get the vocals from, who you're going to get the performance style from, who you're going to get the styling from, and who you're going to get the passion from. Let's start with the vocal. If you're building your your... You're a perfect, your R and B singer. Who are you taking the vocal from? Donny Hathaway. Quick, fast, fast. No deliberation. It's, he had God in his voice, man. It was, it was something was going on. Just his whole. He was made in his image. Yeah, something with was going his on. vocal. Um, because Stevie got a little Donny Hathaway. Hath a little. I mean, well, I was being, you know, saying like, you know, he'll tell you. <laughs> It was something going on with Donnie. Like, it was some special isms going on with him. Donnie was definitely the originator. And like you said, his had a different type of spirituality connected to it. Different kind of oil, as we like to say. Yeah. Um, Haunting. Oil. Yeah, yeah, the oil. The oil like, the oil. that sprinkle. Okay, okay, styling. 
Yeah. Style it. Who you gonna get the style? Who fly? Or performance. Why? Style. We'll get the style, style. first. We'll get the performance. The because it's weird. Because Who put that <laughs> shit on? Marvin? Ooh. I mean, like classic, yeah. <laughs> classic, I mean, I, 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 you know what I mean? Always like, fly, hey. always fly, always. I mean, always, fly. Mm-hmm. always had that shit on. Yeah, performance style. Maurice White. Oof. Oh. Hey, Earth and the Fire. He. Oh no 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 no. The, the way he was. Yeah yeah. You know, like, yeah. orchestrating. Oof. I mean, Maurice I mean, White. a lot of people to orchestrate. Maurice <laughs> White. Shout out to my brother, crew. Karan White, his son. K. White, what's going on, baby? Yeah. Um, yeah. And who are you going to get the passion from? Who are you going to get the heart and soul Dave from? Ruff. <sighs> Shit! Ha <laughs> ha! What are the temptations without David Ruffin? <laughs> the the imitations. Looking for David <laughs> <laughs> Because Sam Cooke was smooth, but oh, David, David just had, he was I'm sorry to the Temptations. I just saw the movie. Just, but you know, no David had the Temptations. He was a boss. He just oh, had, yeah, man. he had his whole. Oh, David Ruffin. And he, and he influenced a lot of people too. Put the spotlight David on me. Ruffin. They're gonna be up there, but while they're up there, just, I, I need you to put that spotlight on me while I walk down this aisle real quick. Yeah, yeah. Some people are just lead singers. Yeah. They're just leads. He was lead. He was a lead yeah. singer. He was lead. He's a lead yeah. singer. And he knew it. He knew it. Yeah. With his all with all his being. <clears throat> yeah. And just the, the just the fly and scruffiness of his voice, it's just like, you know. Whenever we get a chance to interview Robert Townsend, I want to ask him, did he make Eddie Kane hmm. off of David Ruff? He had, had to. to. I mean, he had to, he but, had I, to. I, but I need to know. Yeah, you know what I mean? As, as a, For sure. You yeah. know, someone who just loves Robert Five Townsend, we need to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Greatest, greatest R and B movie of all time. Oh my God! It's absolutely, like, it's like you. It you, can't you come it. on and I don't it's watch absolutely. it. Absolutely, it's Five absolutely perfect. Absolutely, it's a perfect movie. Absolutely, yeah. even a, even the comedy side. Everything. Yeah, because as you can tell with our podcast, R and B has some funny ass moments like too. Funny as motherfucker. So yeah, mm. and the gangster shit. Yeah, all of it. All so, of it. <clears throat> that was great. That was David Ruffin. David Ruffin. Okay, he's white. I, don't, I, I yeah. can't argue. I don't yeah, argue. Yeah. Not, you you going there today. You, I love you his been going there today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he tapped in. So Get while him, you're Jay. here, <clears throat> talk to him. Talk to him. Um, we like to go into a segment. Mm. It's called I Ain't Saying No Names. Because, mm-hmm. we, you know, we amongst your many travels, the, the, the amazing people you've worked with, I know you got some stories. And in this game, it's funny or fucked up or both. The only rule is you can't say their name. <laughs> can be funny or fucked up or funny and fucked up. Just can't say their names. This is Mike City's I Ain't Saying No Names. Let me see. One time I hung out with somebody that used to kick it with that person's dude. And I'm sure I'm the only one who knew it. <laughs> that we all hang out together. Wait, so you were <laughs> the one person who knew about the whole situation. Yeah. But were you messing with this girl too? No. I just was sitting there like, oh, this is interesting. And everybody's working together though. No, we kicking in the club together. Every single person that's involved. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, left, right. I'm here like, oh, how does this, how does this work out? You know what I'm saying? Like, who did you? High who, level too. Who was? Right? Who were you friends with? All Both. of them. Oh. And I didn't, you know, nothing like. And then that happened, and I was like, oh. So was it two couples? No. It was one girl and two guys. It was two girls. That I knew. Ah. Oh. Did they mess with the same guy? High level. You know what I mean? And they knew it. I knew it. You knew it. <laughs> Everybody's high level in this conversation, too. High level. High level. And this guy's hanging out with all of them. I'm did, sitting there. What's, what, did he bring them on purpose? No. I'm sitting there with them two. He wasn't there. But I'm the only one who knew about 
them both being his. Yeah, but they're yeah. those two are they're hanging out together. They're friends. Yeah, high level. High level. What you probably didn't know is they was probably uh. World. Rap tight <laughs> and doing their thing together. And Maybe yeah, you might not. Maybe. Even, you might not have knew about the. You feel me? I might not even know neck is pretty yeah, boy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it might have been just whatever. <laughs> anyway, huh? You stand like this. <laughs> the world of R and B. Oh man, the world of R and B. You were uncomfortable. <laughs> you were uncomfortable. It's just, it wasn't because it wasn't my deal. But I was sitting there like, you know, how does this work out? You this know what I'm saying? Like. Go. How this go because this is quite serious now, and this is not you know that wasn't that long ago. Mm. But we all gonna sit up here and drink our drinks and act like <laughs> and act like ain't none of it happened. <laughs> and listen, to you don't have to call something whatever he's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, he went out definitely. <laughs> no, he definitely. Yeah, because we ain't saying no names. We said no names. Peace to us. He's definitely with them for sure. I was going to say, no. hint, hint. No, good, 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 good. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, let me say this, man. Mike City, um, you are absolutely amazing. I appreciate the you love, have, man. You, you have me. been that way for quite some time. Um, you are absolutely necessary for the resurgence of R&B music. Your information, your gift your understanding of how this shit goes, absolutely necessary. Um, so first off, it was good to see you the other night. Running into you was like- Because I saw wow. I said, I see you in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Running into you was because like really I had dope. to really quickly get that in because yeah. it was crowded. Yeah. Like we had to really- And I was like, yeah. oh, oh, some oh, guys are here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Mike City's here. This, is, this was a real call. Um, but again, you're necessary, brother, um, to the to this R and B fabric, man. And um, we 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 need to see and hear more of you. Right now, not later. Right now, so that is my charge to you, yeah. R and B theologian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That I'm tired that, of just running to you at the street fair, man. Sick street of fair, sick of yeah. it. Running to you 24 hours. Speaking of which. Let's, did we miss it this year? Or are we back I think we did. I think was we it, did. No, I think it comes closer to Halloween, doesn't it? I, I it's, think... it's it's Halloween stuff. But yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, on behalf of the Army Money Podcast, man, me and my brother Jay Valentine, man, we thank you, brother, for yeah, giving sir. us your time. Yeah. I appreciate y'all um, having me. Thank you know, you, you family, you're a friend, but your time is valuable, brother. Yeah. You're a legend. Yeah, yeah. Me, your time is valuable, and, you, and your music is expensive. So, man, thank listen, you. I'm glad to be here, and like you said. <laughs> R&B money, if people want to get the information and everything, these guys, they've been doing it forever and everything. And I hit you. I said, um, on that intro, and I was like, oh, he went right back to commission. I've been, once again, you cannot lose cannot doing lose that. Commission. I will, I, There's magic in whatever that is. It's there is magic. magic in there. I'll always be there. And it's transferable. Like, like, it, like. It, you can put it. You can put that shit on everything. It's transferable, <laughs> and each voice can has it. Have the commission its own is thing. the hot sauce. Yeah, the hot, yeah. the hot sauce. Each voice can have like before we go. Um, um, see now that I found the love of my life, I don't have to trick no more. Yes. I told Dave, this is what we doing, yes. and he said, yes, we doing this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a big part of that song because yeah. it broke the monotony of everything else. It let Dave be Dave again for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then we got back got off right into back being to, a lounge singer. Got right back to the lounge singer. Cigarette so, and the beverage. So you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, and there's more, but people just get the, get the lesson. Study the great, study the older generation everything. It's not that the older generation is hey, Nah, you got to get your craft up. Yeah. You got to get your, your 10,000 hours got to be spent right or it was just 10,000 hours. Talk about it. You can't just spend 10,000 hours saying, I practiced and I did not, nah, but if it ain't spent right, you need 10 more thousand hours. Talk about it. Mm. Yeah. And that's just, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he touring with everybody, singing background, making, doing this and everything. I'm being an apprentice. I'm doing this. I remember when, when I first met Heavy D, he didn't know what I did. When I was up, he was running Motown, Uptown. Whatever. He said, he looked at me, he said, I don't know what you do. You gonna make it? He said, "You got a certain energy, but you just minding your business. You just soaking up the game." And I was sitting in the corner, like, "When my time come, my time will come." Yeah. And I'll, I'll do it then. Shout and out it, to Heavy D, yeah. somebody yeah. Oh who was God. an amazing artist, but an amazing executive, yeah. who loved R and B music, loved yeah. it, loved it, man, you and know really helped push the culture forward. He did, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like he, you know, it's just, just stuff like that. And when he got out here, you know, it's just funny stuff. I used to. 
go box with him and Andre Harrell, just working on everything, and O'Neal would be there. Just all funny stuff, but it's just a community of people getting together like mine and with, for the for the cause and everything. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got to get back to that, and the youngins got to they got to want the lesson too. They got to yeah. want it, or we got to find the people who want the who lesson. Who want the lesson? Yeah. yeah, because there are people who want the lesson, and everything, but you know. Just you know, just with the songs, you don't need to use a million words. Space it out, baby. Give the person a chance to, to learn the record. Yeah. Give the person a chance to learn it. Give them a chance to understand you know, Understand it. what it is and break it down. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear 5,000 words. I don't want to hear everything you know on one record. But I, And I want to hear it, so don't mumble it either. I want to hear it. Let's hear it. And so we can so we can absorb it and take it in. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to the old stuff and do and, and modernize and do what you do, but use those principles. Because you're still touring 20 years down the line. Are these R&B artists going to be over tour? Was it 2020? In 2042, are they going to be over tour? Are they going to be like, I'm cool? That's a real thing they got to think about. Yeah. Well, I normally close out the R&B Money podcast, okay. but Mike City just did it for yeah. us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this has been the R&B mm -hmm. Money podcast featuring my brother, Mike, Mike City. City. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Money!